blue huh did you know you can buy a car from Hertz car sales
member of American Home Shield, which means the faucet may be. Yo, yo, welcome to Show Style Talk here on All Real Radio. I'm your host, Adro. I'm your host, Mark. It's your boy, J-Law. What's happening, y'all? Yes, sir. And Trav, he's still out there with his people in North Carolina. He'll yeah. be here next week. You know, he's handling business, doing his thing out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, big support to uh, Travis, everything that's going on out there in North Carolina, man. Shout out to the Rogers Bros. Shout out to their families, everything that's going yes, on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, you know, more things are important, you know what I mean? Yeah, family, yeah. Handling family th- stuff is very important. Yes, sir. Always, always. Other than that, how y'all boys feeling, man? man I'm feeling I'm good. Feeling good, doing bro. good. How y'all feeling in the day? <laughs> how y'all feeling in the comment section, man? It's another Wednesday. Another Wednesday. Another Wednesday. Sir. Some old band battles. Somebody get about to get cussed the fuck out. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Yeah, we got some battles not... for y'all today, yo. Yeah, we got. But who we got today for an interview? We got Mr. John Graham. Mr. John Graham, director of, of bands of University of, of Arkansas Palm. Arkansas at, at Palm Love. Yeah. yeah. 
There you go. That's why we there played the go. intro. That was Pine Bluff, by the way. The intro song we just played. Oh, 21 yeah. question. Yeah. Girl, <laughs> it's easy to love me now. Love me now. If you love me if I was down <laughs> and out, would you still have love for me? You know my fat ass just love the party. I love you. I hope you love me like a fat kid love cake. That's all I can think about. That's the only verse I remember from the song, thinking about cake the whole time. When the, dog, <laughs> when the doggone thing was over. Mama, can I have a slice of cake, please? Head ass. <laughs> well, we got some nice little battles for y'all today. What battles we got for them today, first, Andrew? First things first, let them know who we got for Face Off on the Field. Oh, Face Off on the Field, if y'all don't know, that's our field show segment. We got Alcorn versus Benedict College. Okay. Ooh, that's going to be nice. Purple yeah. versus purple. Yes, sir. It's purple on purple of violence. <laughs> we have, What's shout the- out to, uh, damn, who sent this? Uh, I f- forgot who said. We might have to go look at it. But go on, said I'm gonna I'm I'm call it. All right, up. shout out to the people that donated. We have Southern University versus Alabama State, fifth quarter, 2016. We're gonna go over that. Okay. Oh man, that's another ass we're about to watch out. Oh damn. Ooh, Bumblebees did it. Come All on. right, we have fifth quarter, Capital City Classic, Jackson versus Alcorn, 2017. Oh. Is it Soul Bowl? Is it Capital City Classic? Which one is it, damn it? I call it the Soul Bowl. I don't call it no Y'all got or anything. Stay with one name, please. I think when it's, you know, when it's at Jackson, it's a Capital City Classic. When it's all going to Soul Bowl. Shit, but, but I think they're just, the Capital City Classic, they exited out. The, the name is gone. Okay. Because it used to be an actual classic, like the, uh, like like a Bayou Classic and stuff. It used to be an actual classic. Yeah, yeah. Um, I but know. they stopped it, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Also, we have a shout out. I know who sent this one. Shout out to D. We got New Orleans All Star Band versus Memphis Mass Band okay. versus LLI Louisiana uh, Leadership Institution. Okay, I, I said that right, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. yeah. That's gonna Institute. be nice. Uh, gonna be Independent nice. Showdown 2016. Okay, that's gonna be nice. That's on the field, right? Yeah, that's on the field. All right, and finally, main event. I've been wanting to go back over this for the longest. Oh boy! Oh boy! This was what three years ago? Yeah, three years ago. Alcorn State versus Miles College 2017. Uh, this fifth is way shorter than I remember. It's only like 27 <laughs> minutes. I yeah. thought this bitch was about That's 48. You know, <laughs> when we do, we go back and listen to videos on this show. Sometimes it changed some people's minds and stuff like that. Because, you know, when we listened to it back then, we wasn't really paying attention to it like that. Mm-hmm. How, we, how we listen to it now. But right. now it's different. Yeah, yes, you, sir. you got a more mature ear now. Yeah, that's you what can, I'm saying. You can appreciate Back then, more. some people just yelling, oh, such and such took this and took that. But when we go back and listen to it, we like, hold on. It wasn't that... They didn't get smashed that bad, or this band didn't do that, such and such. Mm-hmm. But hey, that's how we—that's why we on here to listen hey, to. Hey, yeah, that's what we do. That's All right, do. and for next week, we already got our two battles. Yeah, we got two up. battles for next week. Both that's, of them is our. Both of them is our. We're gonna that's honor Jesus. Boombox Classic Battle yeah. Bands 2014. Uh, gonna take care of that. Yeah, knock that one out. Then we got the other one was requested by DJ Cole, right? Yeah, DJ Cole World. That's a UAPB. Or University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff versus Jackson, 2004. It's actually very entertaining. I like it. I heard about that battle. That, that, that one is actually this very one. entertaining. They actually, like, Pine Bluff at the end zone, and this one, they used to put the bands at the other end zone. Like, and uh-huh. it's like kind of like this. Mm-hmm. So Jackson right here, Pine Bluff right here, they just going, going broke, dog. Huh. And Jackson huge in the bitch in, uh, in 04. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. So I wonder who got that one. We're gonna have to find out next week. Tune yes. in, yes, sir. On the next episode of Dragon. No, my bad. <laughs> hey, I man. got caught up again. <laughs> yeah, you got really caught up. Other than that, I want to go ahead and read this article for y'all. Oh, go okay. ahead, go ahead. It's been a minute since we read the article. Yeah, because usually we just jump. St- we talk and jump straight in our interview. Mm-hmm. But All right, the billionaire founder of Netflix is giving 120 million to black colleges. Netflix founder Reed Hastings is making the single biggest donation by a couple or an individual to racial just, justice in the aftermath of the killing of George Floyd, putting 120 million into American uh, America's historical black colleges and universities or HBCUs. The donation from Hastings and his wife uh, Patty Quillen are the first announced commitments to exceed 100 million from any billionaire philanthropist uh, couple for this cause. The gift speaks to how some of Silicon Valley's wealthiest are trying to marshal their resources to support nonprofits that bridge racial gaps, even though it's to be determined where the tech companies will actually usher in more fundamental change in Silicon Valley power structure. Hastings will donate $40 million each to two of America's most prominent HBCUs, Morehouse College and Spelman College. That's a lot of money for two colleges. Yeah. I see why. We're going to get to that. We're I see why people were stripping. Yeah. yeah. And another $40 million to the United Negro College Fund, yeah. UNCF, which funds scholarships for historically black college 
score historically black schools. Okay, yeah. I think can't be a little good. too mad about that. I one. mean, I mean, you can't tell people what to do with their money, but most you should have gave a lot of that to the United Negro Christian College Fund, however you say the name of it. Yeah, I w- I would think that that would make it spread out a little more even. The United you know Nick, the Negro. United Negro College Fund, UNCL. Okay. UNCL. Okay, okay, I get it right next time. <laughs> The, the donations will add considerably to the endowment of the HBCUs, which on average are less than half of the size of other colleges. Spelman's endowment sits at a 390 million, Morehouse at 145 million, and UNCF's at 100 million. Billionaires are confronting more skepti- skepticism. I can never say this fucking word even during life. Ske- oh my god! Skepticism. <laughs> skepticism. Skepticism. Oh, oh boy. Skepticism. Oh skepticism. Boy. Yeah. I. I don't know why I just always had a bad uh, anyway. <laughs> they're ever about the philanthropy and the tax breaks they get from it, especially gifts to elite colleges with massive endowments. Gifts to HBCUs may be easier to defend considering the under underrepresent uh, underrepresented po- population they serve and their smaller endowments. Still, some advocates may argue that the federal <laughs> government could fund these schools more heavily if taxes were raised on people like Hastings. Both of us had the pri- privilege of a great education and we want to help more students and popular and particular students of color. Nigga, I don't got no my glasses. Man, <laughs> you you wasn't stubborn over your words about 25 minutes ago. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Oh boy. Shut the fuck if y'all, up. If y'all just tuning in and y'all new on the show, <laughs> y'all don't, don't know AJ up. like this. <laughs> up. This, this guy's out of control. Nigga. <laughs> Uh, Look, man. Hold on. Let's you, just get to the point. Basically, they gave you know they donated net the guy. Yeah, because this, this is a pretty long yeah, uh, yeah. article. To be honest with you, the owner of a CEO basically of a Netflix, he gave money to Morehouse and Spelman, and basically a lot of uh, people they was upset because you know those two colleges and uh, Howard they always get money for yeah. When every time somebody get money out, they always give to those three colleges mm-hmm. all the time. So a lot of people was mad today. Yeah, yeah, and I, f- I feel them though. Yeah, I every do. time I you look, every time you look up, it's those three all the time. Like that's they not the only HBCUs around here. You I got understand like, that. Yeah, yeah, but you can't tell people what to but do. Yeah, with that, that yeah, money. that's another that's thing. But, it, but, it, tell them. but an argument that some people will make is that well they gave something to UNCF, but another argument is well they gave forty mil each yeah. to two colleges right. where yeah. you can spread that out. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean, especially. Like you just take Atlanta for and like, but think about it, all the um, all the schools are not under the UNCF. You know, like the smaller schools are up. Like, oh, they get more okay. money from that. Like who that is? Uh, the college one one college we uh, interviewed. Uh, Russ. Russ get it. Um, who else? It was a college we interviewed in Texas. Uh, um, Jarvis Christian. Jarvis Christian. You remember you told us they was up under that mm-hmm. UNCF thing or something like that. Okay. Like all of them don't really get it. Oh, okay. Like I thought, smaller I ones, thought I think. everybody. I think was, it's like the smaller, more the smaller college. Because ain't that mean HBCUs? Yeah. Like so I thought 100. everybody would be under it, but you know I stand corrected. Yeah, yeah. That's why everybody hot. I, I can understand that, but I don't know. Hey. Yeah. I guess I, I I guess I don't have an opinion on it to be honest with you. I truly don't. I don't. I truly don't. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. It is what yeah, it is. that's why that's I feel like it that's it how I feel like is. like hey, it's kind of it, it, it is, is what, what it is. is. <laughs> you know, you know at least them two, you know, you know can do something with that. Yeah. You know, and the, you know the smaller schools can do something with that. You know, it go it but, go to something. But the biggest I mean? thing people was looking at like why why won't you, they give it to like the schools that's scr- struggling right now like BCU and Mars Brown, Mars Brown, like yeah. colleges like that that's really struggling right now. Yeah. Well, and not the probably because of name. They got a. That's uh, what I'm saying. That's uh, the big thing. It's the popularity of those three schools. That's why they always get money. Howard, you think about, think about how many people went to Morehouse, like great leaders and stuff went to Morehouse, came out of that. So they name gonna be big. Spike Lee, Martin yeah. Luther King, like a whole bunch of people, bro. Actors came. Act, out that a bitch. lot of people. That's yeah, why. Then Spelman, they put out a lot of good, great uh, women. God damn it, Michael Strahan yeah. went to Texas Southern. Come on, get right now. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Man, it did go. <laughs> I can't even do it. I can't do it. All right, we ready for him for our interview? Uh, let's go ahead and give him a call. We're gonna get him, get our uh, Mr. Interview on here, Mr. Mr. Interview, Gra- <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Graham. We about, we about to get him on Mr. here. Graham. But how y'all feeling um, in the comment section, man? How they feeling? Yeah, how they feeling? I can't see him because well, I'm, I'm saying Adro, Adro looking at him right now. What they talking about in the comment section? Uh, uh, right in. I'm surprised no one's talking about How you about doing, my sir? Dad. I'm Can surprised you hear me nobody. Okay? Yeah, I'm surprised nobody talk about my stuttering. Yeah, thank y'all. They probably ain't heard it. They probably used hey, to. Adro, you know? fuck y'all. I found hey, it. Adro, Adro. Hey, <laughs> hey, okay, can there you hear go. me, sir? 
Yes, I can. How are you doing, doing, sir? I'm doing (laughs) good. Uh, This is Jerome Law right here. Uh, How are you doing, Jerome? Welcome, Mr. Graham, to All Real Radio. Uh, We are Show Style Style Talk. And um, we have Adrian with us, who is uh, our main host. And then we have Marcus, who is one of the co-hosts with myself here. And we um, just want to introduce you to our audience here. So um, okay. I, I'll go ahead and let um, you. You'll be seeing me, but Adrian will be talking, yes, um, and Marcus will be asking some questions as well, as well. So I guess they'll announce themselves. Then we have questions out the comment section as well too, if people mm-hmm. have some. Okay, Adro. All right. Hello. How you doing, sir? Oh, we're doing well. Doing well. It's great to hear from you, sir. Oh, man, I cannot believe it. The head director, mm-hmm. the head director of University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. How do you, man, like, I can't believe we got you on here, man. I'm Adro. Nice to meet you. I'm one of the head, um, the head hosts here. So let, let's go ahead and get started. So what we like to start off with is our band facts. And basically what our band facts is, we give our background on where we came from, like our high school, the college we went to, the years we marched, the instrument we played. So we let the let the let the world know like where we come from basically. So what what are your band facts? Okay, well first of all, uh, gentlemen, thank you for uh, having me on your show. Um, I am a native of Little Rock, Arkansas, okay. and a lot of people think I'm from Chicago because that's where I started my teaching career, in um, in the north suburbs up there in uh, Illinois. But I'm a native of Little Rock, a proud graduate of the Little Rock Central High School. Oh, history. Okay. Oh, wow. And uh, straight up, my background is the eat those those Arkansans know about the East End of Little Rock. So I grew up in an area that we call the East End of Little Rock, which is the hood, basically. Okay. And, and that's 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 where I got my start, cut my teeth in music from a legendary um, African American teacher by the name of Sylvia Clay. God rest her soul and um, finished from Little Rock Central, and I started my education at uh, University of Central Arkansas, better known as the school that Scottie Pippen went to. Most of you younger guys probably have heard of Scottie Pippen somewhere along the lines. And I I matriculated from um, University of Central Arkansas. I went to Illinois, where I taught at North Chicago Community High School. And I was blessed to be there for a good three years before I returned back to Arkansas, where I taught at McClellan High School. And then I uh, was fortunate enough to um, be able to teach at my former high school, the Little Rock Central High. My band director called me when he was re- uh, resigning and they requested, a, um, a, a, they wanted me to come back. And so I did. I stayed at Little Rock Central for about three years. Uh, and then I uh, was recruited by my teacher, who was a biology teacher at the time, but at Central, but became the principal at the Parkview Art Science Magnet High School, which was one of the was the first uh, magnet high school in the state of Arkansas. Mm. And so I was able to teach there. I spent six years there. Had some outstanding students. One of my um, marquee students. I throw his name around all the time. One of my best trumpet players was Derek Fisher. So most people know Derek Fisher as from the Chicago, from the uh, Los Angeles Lakers, but he was a trumpet player of mine. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's what's up. <laughs> okay. That's live, though. You got a deep that's high a, school that's resume, some, that's some man. deep stuff right that there. That is deep um, right there. We were, we were blessed, and God uh, saw fit for the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff to give me a call in 94, mm. and uh, they took a chance on me. And at that time, I came to um, UAPB. I've been here ever since. Uh, I think I'm sitting right at 26 years, 37 years of total teaching. Uh, I consider myself, a lot of times, uh, I've got so many students doing so many things across the country and world. A lot of people consider me a band director. I I consider myself an educator because I actually was um, Mr. Music in Chicago. It was one of those high schools where you know how we are in the hood. You have to do everything sometimes up in the neighborhood. So I was yeah, Mr. Yeah. Pan. So I taught choir, piano, theory, and I was the band director and ran uh, musicals doing Broadway shows and those kinds of genres there. So um, I consider myself an educator. And and, um, and I guess the show comes from, in, in when you talk about the show in what we do in the show band, I guess that you can say that part of it was already in as a part of my makeup, and I've been blessed to be here ever since. 
Wow. Oh, wow. That is deep right That's there. That's a nice history. Wow. Man. I was that not was expecting that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Derek Fisher and everything. Yeah, Woo. pretty good resume there. Pretty good resume. So tell us, um, when you came to the SWAC in 94 um, at University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, what were your expectations coming into that position back then? Well, I'll tell you, uh, my, back, my background was not black college at the time. I had aspired. One of my places that I was going to attend was uh, FAMU or either Gramlin. And so those are the schools that I had been hearing about at the time living, growing up in Little Rock, because Little Rock is like an ocean uh, that divides um, Pine Bluff. And, um, and so my expectations were, first of all, I knew about Pine Bluff. And I got a chance to see UAPB at a game in uh, Little Rock. They were playing uh, Prairie View. Mm -hmm. And actually, Prairie View came and did their field show at my high school, Parkview. And one, one of uh, Parkview's band directors happened to be uh, a graduate of Parkview. So I let him use my field. And I got a chance to watch. And I went to the game. And I looked at it. And I said, man, this is a, a great, great, great uh, opportunity to, to grow music and still and so when I got to UAPB, I saw it as a diamond in the rough. I saw uh, in, in the state of Arkansas, UAPB represents the only historically black um, um, land grant institution state um, uh, state funded in Arkansas. So UAPB is like a, on an island all by itself. Mm -hmm. okay. And so I saw an opportunity to bring young people and expose them to black college and uh, present it to the state of Arkansas in a way that I would hope that it would be representative uh, for the constituents who are in our state mm -hmm. uh, and, um, and, and grow the program. So my expectations were very high. Um, a total program, a concert program, a jazz program, um, a marching band program, and exposure to the state of Arkansas. Wow, so just creating a well-rounded musician and a well-rounded music program for the university. All at exactly. one time. That was your mentality. That is so yeah. awesome. So we've come over the years, what you said, 94, 94. and we're in 2020 20, now. Yeah. So that's what, 26 20, years, 26 years going on 27 years as head band director. What have you done to to try to stay relevant with the times, you know, because you, all, you have these new band directors come in that try to run and gun and try to do all type mm -hmm. of new tactics and different things like that. What do you consider... Um, um, what what you normally do, what you mainly do to try to keep UAPB's band relevant? Well, you know, I'm glad you asked that question because, you know, I I, I, I don't consider myself a Bible scholar, though I, you know, I'm a Sunday school teacher and I, and I spend my time at, on Sundays, but the Bible said there's nothing new under the sun. Mm -hmm. And so people change, the names change, but entertainment is entertainment. Uh, and so I try to stay relevant by staying in my, I listen to my students. I try to stay in there. They, they talk. I have an open dialogue with them. Mm -hmm. I have fans that are, um, that are, uh, you know, there are people who come and go and to stay relevant means to, uh, do what you have to do to make sure, first of all, that you're representing the state where they're supposed, that they're, where they're expecting you to represent the university and the institution of higher learning. But yet you still have to get down. Right. And so, uh, so you got to stay current. You got to know what's coming. You got to know what what is the music. Um, uh, good music is good music. I don't care if if we play in a score to Pootie Tang, <laughs> you know, it, it it needs to sound like Pootie Tang. Right. You know, if, if 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 my mother is sitting there listening to it, she says, "Oh yeah, I know that that song is from Pootie Tang." Uh -huh. So it's got to be good music. Uh, if we're playing Lettucey, she's got to be, you know, it's, it's got to be, it's, it's got to sound like her. Yeah. A lot of times. So I find that young people are smart. Um, I think there's a lot of things out there that do represent uh, music really well. Uh, but just like in anything, we're talking about the current trend that we're hearing about uh, police officers. They're great police officers. They're not good police officers. They're great musicians. And then there are some people who play well, but they not, they're not. still what I consider a work in progress. Mm -hmm. And so one of my things that I try, and it goes, I guess it comes from my background dealing with theater, art, music, choir, vocals. Um, I have students right now who have Grammys, who are, who are performing in Hollywood uh, with Beyonce. Those kids can go anywhere and perform because they have had an exposure to understanding a refinement in music. 
And so when we put bands out in the stands or on the field, I look at it from a musician um from a musician standpoint, a lot of you guys may be familiar with Quincy Jones yes, back in the day for me. Uh, Quincy, I got a chance to meet him and spend time with him and our Clark Terry. Those guys are high level musicians. And so I try to present what we do, keep it current, let the students have fun, but also remembering who we are and where we are from. Uh, I think a lot of times people, uh, we, we become caricatures of what we were really about. When you go back to some of my people that I look up to, um, when I think about Ed Graves out of uh, Tennessee State, um, a lot of people may, he's retired out. I think of Patty Griggs, um, a, a great guy down there at uh, Southern. I think about uh, Conrad Hutchison at um, uh, Gramlin. These are what I call architects that built programs that were, uh, and I don't want to leave out my brother down here at Alcorn, uh, uh, Sam. So those those are those are great men who put our colleges, our bands, and uh, uh, Robert Foster out at FAMU. They put those bands on the map because they play good music the right way. When I and when I say good music, I mean what was contemporary for that time. Right. Yes. You know they they was they were playing was contemporary. They were they had their ears of their constituents, their students. But they did it in a way that was so uh, outstanding that I don't care if they were playing for the presidents, mm -hmm. which our bands have done historically, including our band, mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. played for the presidents. They've also gone down to the neighborhood and played for those sixth grader kids that are standing there at the gate watching. Mm -hmm. They play for mama, and then they play for bro man with the 40 in his hand and say, play me some food. <laughs> so, so you got to be able to reach the masses. And, and I think uh, staying current means having a great ear, you know, yeah. being relevant like that. Uh, and some things we can play, you know, and, you know, some things we just won't play mm -hmm. because it just it's not going to make good music for us. It may be great for others. So I think and I think one of the great things, too, and I know this is a long answer to a short question. <laughs> that's fine. Man. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> However. I think that's what makes us as a people so unique. As I look at, at the landscape of black college bands, uh, I don't want to go to a game and hear 10 uh, ANTs or 10 FAMUs. I want to hear a bouquet. Right. Our, people, our people are in different shades and colors. Our hair, you got a nice uh, low cut. The other man said, no, that may have his twisties like my son and, and may have tatted up on his arms and everything. That's what makes us who we are. So, um, you know, so we try to stay relevant and, and they're going to be the audiences will find us. Those people, they, students call me and say, hey, this is why I came to your school. I like the way you sound. I said, OK, well, that's fine. OK, OK, oh, that's good. awesome. That's awesome. That's very good information. That's, that's, that's good for other band directors to kind of take in as well. Yes, sir. And so, you know, um, I want to move along with it and share some more things with our audience. You know, um, over the last few months, the, um, the family of University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff has had a great loss to them and um, uh, Mr. Jerome Hudson. And, you know, um, it was very sad to see what had happened um, 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 when, you know, with, with, with his passing. And um, can you share some, one of your favorite stories yeah, Bob. That, with, with you and Mr. Hudson? Well, you know, Mr. Hudson, I, in, my cons in, in my opinion, was one of those guys who was the most, who was so passionate about this program. He would tell you in a minute. And, um, I have I, I have so many different stories, but I want you to know that he was the kind of person that will tell you. I told him I said always t I want to know if I have a booger in my nose. You need to be able to tell me. <laughs> don't let us go out there and we don't and we don't have. It. And so he was always one of those people that I do not want to be. Uh, let's don't copy anybody. Stay unique or whatever. And so I think over the the years when I look back on um, Mr. Hudson or, or as we call him affectionately Hud. Um, he he would say things and get you to um, think he's really angry, and then you would see him walk away and have a smile <laughs> and, laugh, and laugh under his breath. And so <clears throat> the uh, those kinds of things, when you meet a person, you've been around them for those years. I, mean, I knew him before I came, 26 years, and you with a person. Uh, joined at the hip, hip. I called him the sound of UAPB because he he 
when I came, he was writing for us. And I, I wanted him to put stuff on paper so that I can interpret it, it uh, and, and get the best out of it, um, regardless of the instrumentation, because, you know, that's something that's changing. I remember when I first came, the greatest job that he did, and this I, I'll say this, when I first got to UAPB, we had three to five trumpets, three to five trumpets. And at that time, I say we had five and a half trumpets. Wow. Oh, wow. Five and a half trumpets. And I'll never forget, we went down to Jackson, and uh, uh, Liddell was on the other side, and he had an echelon of trumpets. He said, hey, Graham, play a fanfare. <laughs> We had, I said, you know what? This will never happen again. And Hud was, he laughed and we all laughed and had a great time about it. And I said, I, I hope to God we don't ever see that again. But Hud wrote uh, music so that he captured what we had at the time and made it go, made it happen for us. And so I guess the, the story is ongoing right now. And uh, as I look at students who have come through his hands, uh, we have students who are back now teaching and doing so many great things out there. Uh, it's um, that I, I would have to say the story is ongoing. It's it's it's, it's going. Um, I, the last time I talked to, we had a big bash about the students. We would fell out, and we would fall out. I mean, man, we would fall out. But that, he's just that's, that's like a brother. Right. You fall out, brother. You be ready to beat each other's brains out. But then you're back. So those those are the kind of stories I remember uh, for her. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, um, in the comments, we did see somebody. I did see somebody that want to make a shout out to you real quick. Uh, Eric Ghost, Ghostin or Ghostin, uh, from March from '99 to '02. Baritone player. Baritone player. He just yeah. want to say thank you for the opportunity to march with you and everything like that. And you got a lot of love from yeah, everybody. Yeah, it's, a, it's a lot of love. A lot of love on. from yeah. you, from from all you students. To be honest with you, both young. I don't want to say old. <laughs> I don't want to say old. <laughs> uh, midway and uh, that's what we're gonna call them. Since, midway, since uh, you've been there, you're 26 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. yeah you you can you can say that. You know, I when I came first came into the conference, um, I was the youngest uh, director in the SWAC, okay. and uh, I watched people who I've actually recruited. Not necessarily make it to UAPB, but they would make it to other campuses, and we became very good friends. And I, and um, I've gotten to know them and helped them to go and do their special things as well. So my love is to all of the musicians that I see on the other sideline and in our band, because uh, we're at the end of the day uh, we're in this together. I never dream. And right now I serve um, for our conference. I serve as the uh, president for the SWAC conference. And uh, I didn't realize I would be the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> the band director in the, in the conference. But um, I, I like to stay relevant and young. I did my six mile run the other day. So I, I get out there and hook it up with the students. And those guys that you see saying, saying they love, I send that love back to them because they we sweat it together out there. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Brothers that, in arms. <laughs> yeah, that's, about, that's, that's what it is. Now, moving into the um, the new school year, you know, we've been dealing with the coronavirus pandemic that's been affecting the, uh, the country. How do you see UAPB um, kind of uh, making themselves available to students and, and kind of ensuring their families that, um, that things will be okay on their campus? Uh, are we <laughs> looking forward to a fall this year? You know, I'm a, I am am an internal optimist. I believe in the human spirit. I believe that, um, you know, anything is possible. I've seen, I've seen miracles uh, happen uh, in, before my eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I believe that this is something that is, uh, in, in my opinion, is a spiritual thing for me, is a spiritual walk. Uh, the Bible talks about pestilences. And, uh, we talk about sicknesses, plagues, and what have you. This is nothing that is not going to pass, just like we hear about the Spanish flu and so many other things that have come through. The, if you study history, and I am a history buff now, um, I, I believe that we're going to get through it. I believe UAPB is going to come through it. I believe that those of us who stay true to what we believe, this has given us a chance to really refocus on what is the most important thing. Yeah. I don't think it's an accident that we're dealing with civil rights and human rights issues while we're in the midst of a pandemic. Uh, I truthfully believe it gives us a chance to have that quiet moment and ask, why 
Why do we have a ban on the football field to begin with? What's the purpose of it? Why do we uh, go to the games? Why are you in college? Why are you here for the, the in the beginning? And so it puts us to helps us to go to the true source of where, who we are and why we are doing what we are doing, and really focus. So many students go to college, and I'm going to say this, and I speak for all band directors. There are a lot of students who go and waste a lot of money um, mm -hmm. trying to be go. Yeah, I love marching band, and I'm, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's not just band. They may be in athletics or some other things, and those things should draw us to college. But when we have pandemics and things like that we have, it draws us closer and it causes us to really refocus. We are going. We have a, a team. I have a, a a book that we have put together, which is a, a what we call a, a our intervention plan, and it's not just here at UAPB. I want all of our listeners and all of our black colleges are working together with other colleges that are not African-American. Uh, and we are putting together, we're putting our resources, we are working together. We are not just UAPB for UAPB, Prairie View for Prairie View, a and for a and No, we are on the phone. A matter of fact, I have another Zoom over here that's going on right at this moment. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and, and, and so we're, we're talking about how can we keep our brothers and sisters safe and still be able to entertain. And, and it, so we we're gonna have a plan uh, when the students get here. I, I trust me. We're gonna we're gonna have it worked out. And if things change, we're gonna be re flexible enough to make that change and also still hold on to their funding. The scholarship is the number one. You know this. You've been there. Yeah. You know. I know Prof Lee had y'all right down there. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, my my daughter was in school down there, so I know that. So uh, what what I'm saying is. Uh, we are working to make sure that we get the students in school. Uh, bands are a source of getting students their education. And so that scholarship is very, very important to them. And in a lot of cases, a lot of our schools hold almost 10% of the student body. And so we got to get them in school. So I don't think we're going to lose that part of okay. it. Okay. Speaking of scholarships, um, do you still have any open um Positions for the marching band, yeah. the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Look at hey. what he's holding up. Yeah. Yeah. He already got the fly up. He got the fly up, y'all. He got the fly Man, look. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> better screen and take a picture of you. He already letting y'all know, like, look, we still got scholarships. <laughs> they got available. Money. You, you got Skype. Everybody got phones now. You got a Skype. We can do FaceTime. What else? <laughs> we got you. Uh, I was going, you know, I, and I'll say this. We take students. Uh, don't think that you can't get in school to this audience out there. Those of you who have been there, don't let your brothers and sisters or anybody out there not go to school because of fear. You know, uh, if we're gonna, you know, if we're gonna have to, we're gonna have a challenge. This is gonna help us get a little bit tighter on it. You know, one of the major issues for bands, uh, sometimes we get a little sidetracked on other things. We can take care of you. You can go to school. We have a scholarship. We have a thank, a thank God for our scholarship budget and a great support staff. So if you want to, we can get you in. All you got to do is do, do an audition. I can do it, um, Skype you, Google Classroom you. We could do any way you want to send me a link. I had a person just to send one to me just a moment ago, just signed off on it and sent that scholarship. We can take care of you. So we're ready. Awesome. So how, much, how much eligibility do you have left? <laughs> so what are so what are all the requirements for the uh, scholarship the audition you, yeah. uh, you know first of all let me let's let's go back uh you need to show that you have the capacity to um uh, matriculate through a university let's just get that out of the way this mm -hmm. is this is not some place for you to come and experiment even if you got a grant in a so my first thing is do you show the acumen to want to sit down with a book and read it uh, when, and study and, you know, and, and get your lessons, as we would say. Okay. So I'm looking for that. And I'm looking for that. When I talk to you the first time, um, I've been doing this for a while. I can pretty much tell if a person has got something else on the brain. I don't care how great you can play. You can't get through college. So I want you to be able to show me that. Past that, we need to hear some scales. I can tell on one scale if you can play. I already know. As a matter of fact, I can tell you when you put your instrument together. Oh boy! So I'm, I'm looking at that, and I'm also going to listen to your tone. Uh, if you got a great tone, we can make some music. So we're looking for a great tone, 
And then you need to be able to show me that you can get around on your instrument. Okay. You got to be able to read, you know, so, and we, and we can work with you. Uh, so those, that's where we're going. And then if I ask your band director about you, they need to tell me that you're not an ax murderer. You know, <laughs> yeah, that boy over there, don't, don't, don't get him over there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Don't, don't take him across them state if you, lines. If you do watch him, yeah, watch exactly. him. And don't give him no Sprite. Sprite just triggers right. him. And, <laughs> and, 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 and the other thing about this, uh, I'm a I'm a person that believes giving people opportunities that sometimes others won't, mm -hmm. because it happened to me, and so I don't have a problem going into places. I have walked the streets, literally, and rode on a bus going to different places in the South Central, Cabrini Green type of places up in Chicago, all all up in Detroit. I've been down there in South Sock, South Oak Cliff, and oh, different boy. places. So I don't have a problem going and getting people who may not get a look, a horn falling apart, just to give them a chance. So uh, so we are, those are those are the attributes that we're looking for. Okay, all right. You got some kids in the comments right now. They like, man, where can I get these scholarships at, Prof? I'm trying to get on these scholarships, man. Okay, so where, okay. how can yeah. they contact you? Yeah, That's how can they, they contact you? Know. We'll get, okay. We'll, you, you're going to share it with us, but we'll get Josh to give us the information to put on our website, he's, too. He's hitting you up right now. Okay, Josh is going to send it to us. And uh, and then I guess we'll we'll put it on the website. Okay. But uh, if y'all can just give us an email address that they can reach out to you. Yeah, give us an email good. address. We can do that. Okay. No, you give want, us one. Those... That... Yeah, give, give yeah. us an email address right now. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. This is easy. Graham like Graham Cracker. Uh -huh. <laughs> the letter J. At uapb. Edu. Okay. There you go. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it Mr. right there. Mr. Graham, thank you so much for being we on our show today. We appreciate you coming through, you, man. Really, we really appreciate do. you. It's been a great okay. interview. You got go some ahead. great wisdom out of you, man. I think well, people really appreciate you. it. Hey, you're good people, man. You know, I don't do these for everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's why That's why we were so surprised <laughs> to get you on here. Yeah, yeah I was surprised. You see, I'm over here like, <laughs> Yeah. The only thing you, got, you, got, you got some good people out there pro promoting you. So oh, I, wish you I wish you, look. I wish your brothers well because I know you're going to do something really great. When I see young brothers like you doing what you're doing, I become a supporter. So I'm going to I'm going to follow you and, and check you out. Thank now. you. Thank appreciate you so it. Much. We appreciate Thank you so much. And I guess we'll let you go ahead and get back to your other. Yeah, your other yeah, your other meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, and you have yourself a good day, sir. All right. All right. God bless you guys. Same to you. Thank man. you. Thank you, man. Dang, great interview. Man. Great interview. Great interview, man. He's been man. getting a lot of love. I've been looking at yeah. it over there. Yeah, yeah dog. Like He's been getting a lot of love. <laughs> Shout man. out to you, APB. We've been showing them a lot of love these yes. past couple of weeks. That's why I'm with glad you. we got them on the show. Yeah, yeah to be honest with you. They don't get, it, they don't get enough uh, publicity, in my opinion. Mm. Or they, they don't. don't put themselves out there like that, to be honest with you. They don't. They kind of want the people that kind of like, man, my... my my work speak for itself. Well, shit, if nobody <laughs> see your damn work, you know what I mean? Put yourself out there, market yourself more. You know? Yeah. 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 But other than that, we had a great, great interview. Great interview. Glad y'all loved it. Shout out to APB once again. I know y'all in the show. All right, let's make get into the battle. Make sure y'all share this live feed because it's going down tonight. It's about to go down. What's good, hoes? It's time to battle. Oh, boy. <laughs> what you got up for us first, Adro? First thing first, we got, let's get the jukes out the way. Huh? Oh. <laughs> We only got one juke today. Said, one just, juke battle today, y'all. Get, the out the way. get them on out the way. They just get them out the way. <laughs> we got Southern University versus Alabama State, fifth quarter, 2016. <laughs> okay. Anybody else got the? They don't. No, that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's the only one that got the yeah. footage. Yeah. Okay. Footage. Uh. A, a footage provided by Human Juke Box Media. Yes, sir. Hey, got to ask questions before you play it. Yeah, because you know they're going to get on your case. Because this <laughs> is another Bama State versus Southern battle. <laughs> oh, boy. We don't need that again. This All I do. Alabama State up first. Round one. I'm just saying, if you just tuning in, this is Southern versus Alabama State 2016. 
Throwback battle. I'm just saying thank you for tuning in, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure y'all share this live feed. Subscribe. Like, subscribe, share to everybody on Facebook and YouTube. Hey, go subscribe to our YouTube channel at Show Style Talk, please. Yes, sir. I see you, Pine Bluff's announcer in the chat. That's what's up. Shout out to Pine Bluff. What's up, Bernard? I ain't gonna mess your last name up. I'm gonna just say hey. <laughs> I like this arrangement. Yeah, I do too. Other than, that other, than that, other than that, everything else was all right. Yeah. It was straight. It was straight. It, it was straight. It was Is it right. raining? Southern got, they ain't got no uniforms on. Straight, uh, what is that? Windsuit or something? Yeah, windsuit pants and t-shirts. Oh, nigga, it really is raining on them boys. They weren't going to mess them uniforms up. Man, them things get stanky when they wet. They got the woodwinds out and everything. <laughs> now you hoes playing today. This is a different version right here. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure y'all share the live feed. Just tuning in, this is Southern versus Alabama State 2016, fifth quarter. Both first songs are pretty yeah, even. Yeah, they so both far. even. Both both yeah. rounds are even so far. Well, both songs, both bands. Cause it seems like they both pulled out a classic tune that they are normally play. Which I think so far in the comment section.
where they both kind of fluffed the end. Both of them did. Both of them fluffed the end. Alabama State in, so. Uh-oh. They're going to bust in a few windows, huh? Oh, no. That's busting windows. Okay, Bama, stay jamming on them boys. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me turn this up real quick for y'all. Y'all don't let Adro get y'all hyped up. What's up, Ivan? Arlie's Pine Bluff alumni here. What's good, people? Alabama State, that was a horrible attempt at that fan fan. That's a big slap. <laughs> How y'all liking this song so far? What's up, Aaron Reed? This is round two, Alabama State. What's up, Justin? What a trumpet. Come on, man. I don't know. The baritone is taking over the trumpet. In pretty nice. You better come on in with it. Okay, Silver Bullets. Uh oh. What y'all got? Here you go. They said it's in the watch from the corner. They said it's in the watch from the corner, Southern. They said the rain can't hold Hang it on down. Lie. That should open up the battle with that. But it's cool. It's cool. We're still good. I like that. Still a one. Yeah, it's cool. Kind of shaking from both ends right now. They you like shit. What y'all got, Southern? Let's go round two. Who is this? Trying to take the name of the song. It's sounds familiar. They gonna tell us. Doing me. Say it again. Doing me. Doing me. I hear it now. Oh boy. Come on, Big yeah. Tone. <laughs> they fluff that diddle. Speaking the tones over there. What year is this? 2016. Yeah, 2016, yeah. Southern versus Alabama State 2016. Now they get more into it a little bit. You can kind of tell they feel it. They, they start feeling it in the middle of the song. Yeah. They have to remember it real quick. They're like, shit, how this whole go? How this whole go? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they pro did they only play this in this game? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. It's probably the only time they played it. Don't you hate when they do that? Yeah, I hate song, you like, man, that could really sound good if y'all play it again. All bands do that shit. I hate that shit, dog. Okay. Oh, ooh. Okay, Stallions. Okay, Stallions. <laughs> Shout out to T5. That was the hybrid then. They weren't Stallions yet. Oh, oh they the hybrid? Okay, hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> the unicorn? That was mixed breed. It was. When they had the gold bell and the white bottom, yeah. A 
Texas thought that we were going to call, call that arrow the mixed breed. 11 to 16, right? Yeah, 11 to 16. But they got him in 17. That's the goal. Oh, that was a big end there. Both of them wouldn't win right now. Oh, uh, Alex? I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> both, both of them are what a what right now. Yeah. Round three, Alabama State, let's go. They get stronger by the song, though. I can hear it strong. I can hear it strong. I need clarity, though. Yeah. Trumps are non existent. We don't get no trumpets. Okay, bullets. This is probably the strongest, the strongest they've been. In a okay, long time. bullets. That's what I'm talking about. Shoot some niggas. Shoot some niggas, bullets. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. No trunk. I think Bama, yeah, they just Bama State has some strong UFOs and trombone. Low grass period. They always have good trombones. Yeah, trombones are like trombones are always good. That mellows are nice too. Yeah, mellows is cool, cool then too. Trump. But this ain't been song so far. What's up, Reggie Jack? Y'all just tuning in. This is Southern versus Alabama State 2016. This is their best song, man. It still ain't firing on all cylinders, though. That's yeah. the thing, though. We can the trunk is right there. They struggling too. What y'all think? What y'all think? think of the comment section? What the laws? They said oh, three. It's twelve. They said three and out. It's twelve. <laughs> they say the tuba sound like Dega. Someone got to get a two or we're going to tie a game. Yeah. Yeah, and nobody got a two yet. <laughs> Silver BBs. Come on. Give me some two material. Uh-oh.
I see Alex out there clowning. Alex, you out there clowning? Talking about drawing all in, all in the music, acting like he not uh, in his feelings. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That it was just a three round battle. I yeah. told you the lot. You hear them lines coming? I said, "Woo woo." <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen minutes. Yeah. That's it. All right. I got my score. I got a tie. Three three. Yeah, me too. I got a tie. Yeah, me too. Nobody got a two. Nah, nobody got a two. Nobody got a two. If, Trump, if uh, Bama State Trumps was getting eaten, eaten up like bro, that. Bro, Bama, Bama, that's I the really, battle Bama State could have got if they had them Trumpets, bro. I don't they think had Trump. so. You don't think so? I a lot of other issues in what, some of them songs. Like what? Like um, the baritones at one point. Yeah, on that second, that, on that second song. That was the second song, yeah. the baritones. I was like, golly. You know? But I'm saying on, on what it is, the win windows. Bust your windows. If they had Trumpets on that song, yeah. it would have been better. That could have been. It could have been a lean towards the two, but everything yeah. else was just nothing. Yeah. It was just steady. It was solid. A strong, a solid one, yeah. yeah. It, I mean, what Batman say play was solid, it wasn't enough to, like, knock out the part. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think they had great sound selection. I think that Trumps were hella weak, though. I think that, <laughs> I think <laughs> that Trumps really hurt, though. Then I wasn't expecting Southern to play that for their first song. And beat tones kind of fluffing as well. Yeah, I wasn't expecting y'all to play that. Yeah, SU kind of, I feel like they kind of dropped the ball on this one as well. They kind of like, oh, that's Bama State. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just Bama State. We just going to play what come to mind. <laughs> Yeah, literally what happened, like, oh, where the raid at? Where the wall spray at? Spray them rutches. Man. Call the exterminator. That's funny. Bam stayed here. Bam Damn stayed. Hornets. What y'all got in the comment section? What y'all think? What y'all got? We got ties in here. Ties. Ties. I see 4-3 issue. Some people say issue dub, a tie, 4-3 issue. A tie, two for issue. Damn, you just got two? Yeah, I don't think that August Alcina song was a two, yeah. in my opinion. It wasn't. I, it wasn't. It wasn't a two. That was. That was. I mean. I mean, if you go off of emotion, then it might have been a two. But if you listen to it like a musician, it you know, wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't a two, and that's my school. So I'm just that's keeping it real. That's yeah, it. a lot of people saying tie three yeah. three three two three three. Yeah, yeah. I kind of. I agree more with the tie. I don't think anybody took it right here. I think. Yeah. It was, mm -hmm. I but, wanted them to, too, but they yeah. didn't. Yeah. Uh, and you can't even say the police didn't give them a chance. It yeah. was three rounds. They had three yeah. rounds. Yeah, Both of them had a three fair chance. Both of them. But. All right. Capital City Classic. Okay. Fifth okay. quarter. What's up, Travis? 2017. What's good, Trav? Jackson versus Alcorn. This is damn near a 40 Hold minute on. battle. What Travis is this? Because you know we got so many Travis in the band. Oh, Travis, Travis Maurice Dumas. Oh, show track. <laughs> show track. <laughs> show track. Okay. Shout out to Killer Kev. No trumpets is not an automatic L, in my opinion. Not using your instrumentation right is an automatic L. Hold on. Uh, go ahead. My bad. Not using your instr instrumentation right is an automatic L, to be honest with you. But that's all I got. Go ahead. All right. Who went first? That Jackson right there blowing. Sound like the game's still going on. Jackson versus who? All corn. Cool. 2017. Is this the first song? I don't, I don't think so. It sounds like the crowd still cheering in the background. Oh, let me look real quick. They got some cranking parts in it, but it's a lot of missing going yeah. on. If you're listening to the horns, it's a lot of missing going on. Especially on the F horn side. Because because the next clip is all corn right after that. So I guess so then. Just let it roll. That's right. their first song. Because someone ah. said, Ooh. oh, they said it's not the first song. Okay. I guess oh, they said all corn just lost. Okay. All right, cool. I ain't got to hear that shit. <laughs> I All guess, right, I so, guess Killer Kev was just recording that part. Yeah. Because yeah. I about to say the way band used to go first. Okay. All right. Ooh, that shit was bad, too. <laughs> you got lucky we didn't judge that. <laughs> that shit was bad. Ooh, that shit was bad, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go, Alcorn. Let's go. Okay, Alcorn first. Alcorn, Alcorn. big as shit in 2017. God damn, it was big. Mm-hmm. That's that year y'all gave him that honorary W, too, huh? Uh, against who? Issue. 
That was over. That was homecoming, 2017. Yeah. Huh? No, no, that was, that was, that was 18. And then we listened to it. It wasn't. It wasn't all that. All corns up first. Oh, this my jam. Feeling. <laughs> yeah, Alex, I'm in my feelings now. <laughs> Sound suspicious already. It sounded better on the field. <laughs> Do you go to Jackson and just fold up like this or what? They slid in that bitch. They showed sure in. Trombone sound good. Trump is out. I'm only bobbing because I really like the song. Yeah. <laughs> is that crazy cowboy still in there? I think so, yeah, it is. Y'all better turn age rule. Oh, not the crazy cowboy. Trump on. That okay. refrigerator is warm as heck, boy. <laughs> Stomach about to be hurt. <laughs> Y'all just tuning in. This is Alcorn versus Jackson State 2017. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick with my vitamin water. Yeah. We're going to let Adro get on that crazy cowboy. <laughs> yeah, boy. That a, was a, rough. a strong. A, I don't know. It's, okay, it's a one. It's one. Oh, yeah, week one. Let's go, uh, Jackson State. Come on, Boom. What you got? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, Boom? Well, they Jackson small as hell. That's when they size the band down some in that year. They slimmed it down. Get it together, trumpet. This this is the year dog team started their foundation of their sound. They, they sound. I, I don't know which one it is. So I got them all on. Fuck it. <laughs> You're going to get J-Law in stereo. <laughs> Double time. It's going to be like this the whole time. Hopefully it's not. Ooh, my heart goes. Nigga, it's 40 minutes. <laughs> they always have a long battle, though. Y'all just tuning in to this Jackson versus All Point 2017. Make sure y'all shut a lot for you. Why does it sound like a homecoming song? You're on the field and they walking up the middle of the band. Are you from a gra are you on graduation? A graduation song is on for the singers or the band. They want you to call Tyrone on both their asses. <laughs> Oh my God, these trumpets. Oh my God. This how we starting the battle? This is round one. Oh my God. This is only no. round one. Oh my God, oh my God. Boy, it's gonna be a long battle. This is gonna be long. Y'all hazing y'all audience. That's messed up, man. Blame uh, who requested it? <laughs> Blame them. They wanted us to listen to it. Y'all call Jeremy and tell him to bring some cheese over here for these eggs. <laughs> <laughs> we need some cheese, some uh, everything. Some cheese, some tomatoes, spinach, mushrooms, and all that. Green the whole onion. omelet. Yeah, I'll <laughs> make us a nice one. There's going to be a, some nice goose eggs going on. You know, bring some pie crust. We're going to make a quiche, too. <laughs> <laughs> 
Travis, bring those goose eggs back. Oh, shout you. out to Merle for the issue versus Alabama State. Okay. Oh, shout out to him. Yeah, that was rough, Jackson. Shout out to Roger Jackson for this battle. Okay, oh, Roger Jackson. Boy. Shout out to you. Damn, Roger. <laughs> Hey, Smash Time got a message for y'all. Wait, in the comment section? Yeah, he said he's joking about oh. how. Okay, I'll go on. Y'all speed it up a little bit. But Trump is still ain't hit. I need a hero. Come on, this is Texas Southern Song, man. <laughs> The band is low, trumpets. We need to be able to hear y'all. Both of they trumpets. Well, they too damn big to be sound like that. Well, they, they big. Hey, Jay Spitter. I'm sorry, I gotta let this one ride today. <laughs> I, they both got names. I gotta, I gotta let this bitch ride. Hey, GG. They What's both, up, Charles Gaines? as far as band wise, they both even right now because both of they trumpet sections ain't hitting it, but they low brass coming out. <laughs> Drone, come look at how big these motherfuckers are. Hold on. Yeah, Alcorn was like the big one of the biggest swag bands that year. In 17. Alcorn was, like I said, Alcorn was like the, one of the biggest swag bands in 2017. It probably was. The whole section. Whew. Cool. What's good, Jeremy? What's good? You have to come over here. Because the camera right there. Add, add. Oh, at least it ain't playing. <laughs> okay, Jackson, let's go. Okay, that's, that's a perfect response right there. This is confident. All right, this is confident. Ooh, okay, dog team. They they killing them runs though. Okay, Tuba. Okay, Tuba. I told you this was the year they two was open up. Hey, dog team was in that bit. I told you 2017. Nice hey, that, that was pretty nice. They should have started that whole off with that, but I like that one. That's what it sounds like when everybody's playing together right there. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. They pulled through on that one. Let's go. What you got, all corn? Come on, Coney. Oh, boy. Why y'all going to slow it right back down? All I do. Did something just happen or they did that themselves? You good? This is a long battle. You good? I can tell you right now, the first round was even. Oh, right, like a phone. Testing two, one, two. Y'all just tuning in. This is All Corn versus Jackson 2017. And I just got off work. What's up, Garrett? Thanks for joining us, brother. Y'all know we do this all the time. Yes, Make sir. sure you go follow Smash Time, follow The Edge, follow all of these guys that are in here. Yeah, so, so everybody. On the side line. Give them all a little love. Yes, sir.
it's falling apart all the time. It's fell apart. Yes, sir, Justin. That was Alcorn's big band. That's what Adro keep talking about. Yeah. Alcorn was the biggest band, almost the biggest band. I think they were the biggest band in Swacking that year. Between them and PV. French horn was like, Mama, look at me. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> you know what that is. You already know what it is. Go give me a carton of them. <laughs> Who's it? <laughs> I got some. Hey, Scarfinger, you told us it was a troll. We already knew that. I think this. I think the person who sent this one is serious. <laughs> yeah. They they were serious about this. They was definitely serious. <laughs> Sticking out. Come on, play together. This is Jackson versus Alcorn, 2017, fifth quarter. You get your redemption, Scarfinger. You get your redemption. I'm a fair man. All right, baritone. Oh, the trombone. Come on, trumpet. I told you this battle, both of their trumpet sections are even right now. Me a carton of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Use heavy whipping cream. Round in your four. Omelets, people. Jackson. I mean, Alcorn, let's go. What the fuck? <laughs> How do these niggas? Bro! Oh! Oh, boy. Somebody actually picked this battle and be like, this bit was fire. You really thought this was fire? Come <laughs> on, Foundation, what you doing? I ain't talking about the two. Was, I'm talking about the trunk. The two has been all right. Come to this shit. <laughs> what was that? Is? You what up there? Boy, who you mean? Turn it up, y'all ain't turning the shit up. They really feeling it though. Oh my what god! The air? If you can see, oh my god! If they can see what we looking at right now, that's a whole close up on these niggas. What's the name of this song? 
justified. <laughs> <laughs> this that Gucci Mane song. Oh, okay. When he made like a, a, like a Christmas song or whatever. Gucci does Christmas. Okay. Yeah. Gucci, this sound like playlist. <laughs> I didn't think the score could go any lower, but it's dropping. Oh my God. And so are our viewers. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Please don't request nothing if you know it's like this. Foundation, what you doing? What is this? Oh my God. Y'all want to go back to the echoes from the Y'all could have requested the 2012 battle. It was long like this. If we get two more goose eggs, anything lower than the goose eggs, two more, we kick the battle out. <laughs> yeah. Nobody want to eat all them damn eggs. <laughs> Got you fighting all day and stuff. <laughs> then they still going. <laughs> Even Killer Kill had to cut this shit off. <laughs> Appreciate y'all for staying. We, the faithful people that still stand, appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, the echo from last week was a lot better than this. <laughs> y'all don't I let. Think, I think we all deserve. I think we all deserve to give Scarfinger an apology. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Even though you were we intentionally apologize. trolling. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Scarfinger. We, we're sorry, man. Yeah. We're sorry. Hey, look, I, oh I don't God. even know what Scarfinger is. What did he say? No, you remember we covered that battle. It was Norfolk and NT and, and and for the hour battle, and it was like bad. Yeah. In the first two rounds. Yeah, we, and we cut it off. <laughs> the torture that we went through. Yeah. The two, yeah, because someone paid us cut it off. Yeah. And I told him right now, like, nah, someone requested <laughs> It's like, for real, for real. Hey, somebody. Did. I'm sorry, dog. <laughs> It's tough. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is tough. This shit is tough as tough. fuck. Mm. Gonna go see Miss Elijah. Gonna go to Mississippi. <laughs> oh my God. This we shit get, is we tough. We on the line right now. See Miss Elijah. <laughs> oh Gonna my go God. to Mississippi. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> the show must go on. <laughs> Lord have mercy. What's, uh, oh, we can't play your stuff no more. The computer stopped. Click. Let's click, go. Click, let's click. go, uh, Jackson. Round four. Let's go. Need this round four? This is yeah. only round four, bro. <laughs> I'll come play that song. That was like four minutes oh. by itself. That song. Oh. I missed them first two rounds, but uh, this, it, it didn't even really matter. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't hear the first. Yeah, take it back. Here we go. Let's go. Jackson up. Round four. Yeah, they, they lost it there. <laughs> okay. If it ain't ready, let it cook some more. <laughs> oh. Bring it out of the pan. Cream. I just wanted to crank, Craig. Tone sticking out and everything. I ain't gonna lie, I think I've given out my first negative two ever today. Yo, bruh. Bruh. This shit is tough, dog. Tough. This is sponsored by Crazy Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> and being crazy on a day like this. Boy. Man, this is crazy. And Mike a straight hand product. All Mike a straight hand product. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole whole outfit. Your whole whole outfit all. Oh, man. Hey, I like his stuff at JCPenney, man. He got some comfortable gear, man. Man said Mike a straight hand product. <laughs> From looking at, yeah. Mike a straight hand. <laughs> he get the goose egg, too. <laughs> oh. 
I'm telling you now, from looking at this battle, Texas Southern would have told both of them up in 17. I'm just saying. Bro, oh, what? Yes. <laughs> This is the mellow phone here, right? Bro, this is not good, bro. I see all these skates. And they actually, both of them actually, had, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on with this game because both of these yeah. bands was good that year. And this Jackson, is always the, one of the last games of the season. Jackson, this year, that year went to Crankfest and they was running over stuff that year. They went to Crankfest too. Yeah. It, it's did. raining on them boys. It's oh, raining yeah. now. The weather got tired of that mess. <laughs> go. Take, look at all people running. Hold up. I got it. <laughs> all the people running. <laughs> to be fair, it just started pouring on the boys. I told you the weather didn't like it. Oh, I heard that. What was that? <laughs> a trunk. The same one that been was hanging over the whole year. Is this that same nigga I be roasting all the time? Like I said, the same one that was hanging over Man, the whole year. you act year. like you was a beast on the trumpet. Shit, I'm hooking. <laughs> Where the trumpet's at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. Oh, man, this is tough, bro. Ah. <laughs> Look at him. You heard him in the background. Ah. I, I want to pull ah. one thing out. The football team. Shout right. out to Killer Kel for staying out there and ah. rang and poured on. Yeah, Killer Kel. Ah. He recorded this. Ah. I get that win or two. <laughs> come on, come on, all corn, please. Oh, my God. What is going on? What? <laughs> Just don't yell, just don't yell. Yeah, don't yell in the mic. You can yell off the mic. <laughs> we sorry, y'all. We, we almost done with this. Roger Jackson, if you're watching, please don't do this to us no more. Are you happy, Roger? Go home, Roger. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Man. Oh, my God. Y'all just tuning in. This is Alcorn versus Jackson State 2017. People in the comment section, please don't leave us. Keep Stay on here. We got some more stuff for y'all. Yeah, we got, we got some more battles for y'all. We got a face-off on the field. Hopefully, we won't get an echo on. Yeah, we're going to do a face-off on the field after this. Yeah. Change the tone. Oh, my God. The trumpets are playing around. You hear them fidgeting? And he at the bottom dancing like it's good. A trumpet player. They didn't put their hats on. Get your hat. Get your coat. Get the hell on. Nigga, we still got that. 12 minutes. God damn it. What is like two more rounds? That's three more songs. Two, okay. Depending on how long somebody run a tuba break. <laughs> damn, Jack's boy the punch so quick. <laughs> it's all right. Them that was cute at all. Sit down. It ain't, this battle ain't even no dancing move spirit. It's not. Feel that in my bones! If I was inebriated, this battle would bring me all the way down. <laughs> Y'all just tuning win. in. This is Jackson versus Alcorn 2017, y'all. Wind up there speeding. We're almost done with this battle. I know, right? Is the wind doing it? Yeah. It ain't. The boy it. rain to hype that kid. Wind say move, bitch. I'm conducting. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Don't tell nobody to go home. Y'all they, they, they both shouldn't be telling nobody to go no, home. Uh, they need to say, let's go home. Yeah, let's go to the house. 
Did it say prop? The, the keys. Somebody prop. say the doors of the bus are open. <laughs> Put our instruments up under the bus and let's go. Bass drum oh yeah, Dub T always gonna come in with something. Dub T always gonna come in with something. Who is that nigga, bro? Who? That that same motherfucker hanging over. <laughs> they got one in no, Jackson. They got one in each every band. Every single like, time they played that part, that nigga hung that bitch over. What? That's why I say they both like, got they yo. both equal. Now Jackson it's, it's three and of them um, niggas both. Born. I just want y'all to know it's y'all fault that Barry Randolph's kids about to get necked right now. He's so mm. freaking aggravated that he wants to <laughs> neck the parakeet in the cage right now. <laughs> How you gonna neck the parakeet, Bear? That thing gonna get out and bite you. <laughs> <laughs> this is round six. <laughs> round six, all going. Bank account. Bank account. Please don't be NSF. <laughs> don't have no NSF charges. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> I told you. They both got a trumpet player in each band. It's hanging over. Whoa. That's tough. I hate it here. I want to go home. I hate it here. Hey, that's a window, Adro. You oh, boy. <laughs> Adro, get off that window. Get off that window. You, you can slide over and get on the wall, but not the window. Oh, he told him to get on the wall. <laughs> get on the wall. He, he about to punch the window. He about to punch the window. And they, they think that, that, they think that smoke ain't it. Shout out to Jerry Rogers though. I think this is he wrote this song. I think he wrote back. This is his first song he uh, wrote for Alcorn. That nigga should be mad. Shout out to him. <laughs> be real with you. It's a Why are they wa they waving their butt? Uh, <laughs> Tough. Please don't run it back. Oh, hey. no, 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 In my bank account. In my bank account. No. Add it up with the stimulus check. No. I can't take it no more. No. 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 Oh, my God. The precious. The oh. precious. Oh boy. Oh my God. At this point, it's like everybody's just say, forget it. It, it just blow. It just have it. it. Your boy Starfinger say, I stopped scoring because I kept looking for new negative numbers to give. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This is Alcorn versus Jackson State. Alcorn versus Jackson State 2017. You're listening to Alcorn right now. We are in Any, round Throw in the damn towel! Six. Round throw in the damn round. towel! Anybody from Jackson to Alcorn in the comments right now? Was y'all there at that battle? They say they wasn't there. They wasn't there? That's it. Oh, right. <laughs> no, no, it's not. not. It's not it. Jackson got to come back. They can't leave, oh, that. Okay. They can't leave their house like that. Man, man. Is this in Spinks or in uh, Memorial? Memorial. Memorial. Okay. Round six, Jackson. JSU versus Alcorn, 2017. Thanos needs to snap his finger right now, real talk. Thanos. <laughs> let's, let's see what this sound like. This might be good. The weekend. Hmm. This is the worst I've ever heard. Boy. 
Oh wait, there's a wolf. Talking about this weekend, it started off like Monday. This is a busy ass weekend. Traffic, Houston traffic. I gotta work. This week. They trombones always gonna do a good job. Both ends, bro. Nigga said this shit sound like Monday. <laughs> it don't even sound like Monday. <laughs> bro. This is Thursday, because it fakes you out before the weekend. Nah, this is Friday evening when your boss tells you it's mandatory overtime on, <laughs> on Saturday morning. <laughs> Man. Maybe there was somebody screaming. I hope that was. There wasn't nobody screaming. That was the horn doing that. I think this, wait, wait, this wait. is it, ain't it? Nope. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. Pop, that's it. That's it. We went six rounds. I feel oh. like I can make it. The storm is over now. Hey, that. Hey, that. Oh. I got my score already. Oh, music to my ears. Bro. I got my score. Oh, Alcorn negative six. Jackson zero. That's what you got? Yep. Hold on, say I almost it. threw my paper. Say it, say it again. Alcorn, negative six. Jackson, zero. I got, uh, and I missed the first two rounds. Just to let everybody know, I missed the first two it, rounds. It probably wasn't going to change nothing. But, yeah, from what I've been told, it ain't going to change shit. So, I got Jackson, one. Alcorn, zero. I got Jackson, two. Alcorn, negative one. <laughs> I have Alcorn, negative two. Jackson, two. Mm. That's Out it. of a possible twelve, yeah, it, like they, like I thought the battle was gonna go start off okay, but it just went down. Yeah. Everybody in that hell, like nobody won. <laughs> this shit was horrible. Who requested this shit? That's all I see in the comments. Don't worry only, about. It. We finna do some field only shows. Only person next. won was YouTube on this because yeah. it yeah. got a view. That's and Killer Kev, <laughs> he won. He yeah. won this. Oh if, man, if what look. paper was a uh, was a battle? If that was paper. it right there. Was a battle, man. Oh, That's what man. That was. Let me get this Wet show paper. queued up real quick. Just fall apart. You finna get these field shows going on next? What, what they saying in the comments? Say? It's a tie. They both lost. <laughs> yeah. I actually got someone to score. Jackson won. All corn negative four. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> well, here's, here's, someone said, "How did you get a one?" Damn. It was that bad, y'all. Yeah, yeah, it was that fucking bad. Yeah, that, that shit was horrible. It was that bad, bro. Oh my god, we should have known that shit was been horrible after the first song. We're like, no, it was bad. No, we're gonna get both. Both Trump this is, was horrible. This is why we go back and listen to these battles, cause both yeah. both tone sections was rushing the fuck out they parts. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It was freaking awesome to me. Dog team was killing. <laughs> that was probably the best thing from Jackson was dog team. Sop, <laughs> trombone, barely. 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 <laughs> Barely. But it was better than uh what's uh all corn trombones called? A thunder? Yeah. I don't know. Thunder some. Yeah, they was better Slide than them brothers. Niggas. Like that, <laughs> Slide brothers. <laughs> Slide brothers. Slide brothers. <laughs> no, you know what? The niggas called Slide brothers. That's horrible. Don't laugh at that. They're from the combat too, boy. I don't care. <laughs> Fight me. What you was gonna say, uh hey, Joe? I got D Jackson. Um, <laughs> oh, my back. Oh, Tuba man. Foundation was oh my god. Foundation was horrible. Crumble. Someone said I'll be on foundation ass, but god damn. <laughs> I mean, but you give them props too when they bang yeah. it too. Yeah. So. But god damn. Bruh. I can't, I'm trying to think what was all good on Alcorn side. They trumps, they was too damn big to be that slow. They, they yeah. UFOs, they was powerful, but it was they, they had, were they, rushing they, the they, parts. Yeah, they kept rushing. To me, that's what it was. The UFO was probably the best section. Oh well. We ready. We ready? Yeah. Let me make sure we got a little audio. Let, here. let, let people on. know what face off on the field is. You know, maybe they turn that mic on. Let's see if we hear something. 
Yeah, I got the mic okay. on. All right, face off on the fields, our field show battles. What we do, we put two field shows head to head with each other. We have the zero, and our scoring system goes from zero to three. Zero, that shit was horrible. One, okay. that shit was okay. Two, it was okay. It was good, but it was missing something. And three, it was perfect. It was outstanding. We go through five categories. Your intro, of course, yeah. you know your intro fanfare or how you come on the field. Your drill, of course, you already know tap, tap, tap. You know that, you know, as soon as that first note, the first time you put your uh, foot down, you already know what goes, you already know what goes down. <clears throat> intro drill. We also have uh, the dance feature or auxiliary. auxiliary. We might as well just call it auxiliary because we be seeing a lot of uh, flags getting their shine time as well. So that's the dancers and the flags. And then we do the dance routine. And finally, outro coming off the field, sideline, blow down, whatever you do coming off the field. Okay. That All was right. very precisely put. Damn, somebody <laughs> said the football team the best section. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. And they oh, went God. home. <laughs> <laughs> Who Man. want the smoke? Shit. Who want the smoke? Y'all ready? Uh, yeah, who up, Who we got up first? Up first, we have, guess who? All Corn State Marching okay. Band. And this battle, now pull that bullshit they just Actually, did. somebody requested this field show. Okay. So. Uh, okay. All right. Shout dude. out to Edgar for, uh, the, for the request. Yes, Here sir. Here we go. Hopefully you li- watching the sh- uh, show. Shout yeah, out to some MF Cool. Pedro. Huh? Some more volume. Just a little bit. Shout out to MF Cool Not Productions. Face off on the field segment. Here we go. Here's the intro. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your Sons of the They the fabulous foe, right? Something like that. Yeah. If you got all corn people, tag them into the, uh, the comment section. You know it's crazy. I always heard that Alcorn can drill, so I'm I'm gonna sit down and watch this. Yeah, they are. They they've been a good drilling band for a hot little minute. Hey, this video quality is like yeah, MF Cool. He doing his thing. Oh yeah. Shout yeah. out to that man. I just wanna just let him know. Uh, come on on the left, left in the middle. Check that middle spot too. I see him. Y'all just tuning in. This is Face Off on the Field segment. All Coin is up first. Make sure y'all share this live feed. The boys is really marching. Uh-huh. Yep. I like that. That step two linking up right there. You see that? The boys is really marching though. Okay, All Coin. Ooh, okay, Melo. Look at Red, I see line. you, boy. Line, <laughs> line. Uh oh, she missed the line. God damn it. They're looking good so far, though. Line. Overall, line, line, line. Look at your boy. Shout fire. out to the I see you. Oh, wow. this is them against Valley, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Remember when TSU played this shit, man? This must be the year of the trumpet. This last year. 2019. Yeah, that nigga was last year. The, the difference is outstanding. Ooh, look at that. You hit them trumpets. You hit the difference. If they play Valley uh, Devil's Gun. Yeah. Hey, that song crank, bro. Bro, it, bro that song. They got the be- Valley got the best fight songs in the swag. I know that for sure. Mellows. They gave it to the baritone. Yeah, they gave it to the baritone. Sound good so far, Alcorn. Somebody say they want to make sure they sound bounce off. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the drill. Uh-oh. Somebody pull up the diddle. Yeah, you can't get this. Now, you're on the field. Get, 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 get a few of those out. in my book. Now, being off on the line, you don't get any of those when you're marching. Yeah, Everson Martin got them boys looking good. Shout out to the whole staff at all from State University. Good. Line, line, line. Yeah. Turn. The ball Turn. of your foot is supposed to hit Turn. the line, even on it to the rear. Come on now. Y'all just tuning in. This is face off on the I field. I overstepping the line. I'm not marking it off, but when you're marching, these are things you want to be mindful of. If you're marching eight to five, the ball of your foot should hit that line no matter what. My bad, Mark. No, you good. 
a pretty solid drill, though. Yeah, it's solid. Uh oh. Uh sit. Uh sit. Where you at, Trav? Travis don't want that. That's too skinny for Travis, man. Travis is getting, <laughs> Travis getting the hell hostage by the honeybee. If y'all just tuning in, this is Face Off on the Field segment. All Corn is up first. Make sure y'all tag the All Corn folks in here. God has blessed the Golden Girls again. Trumpets, baby. Mm. Let's count how many times they gush. I already counted two. That was tight. Ooh. Okay, okay. Look at y'all. Y'all Pre- shut me up. Precision ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I played this song in high school. We, we did a drill to this. This is old girl off Disney Channel. Time for some gushing. Oh, not yet. They're <laughs> oh. actually doing a really good job. Okay, Golden Girls. They nice right here. Yeah. They sound great too. It's a great video, video cool, cool, baby. Shout out to ML Cool again for the footage. Yes, indeed. He captured Alco in every moment this whole season. f ones fluffed that run, but that was pretty good, solid. It was solid. Hey, Golden Girls, shout out to y'all for only doing two, maybe three gushes this whole time. They usually be throwing that. <laughs> they be throwing it. <laughs> salt and pepper. We be so salt confused, too. We be like, huh? Oh, <laughs> it don't hurt. <laughs> Kick down. You know everything, don't you, Marcus? <laughs> it's all cadence. That boy is boring off that all. Awesome. Please excuse my hand. Okay, all corn. This drill is this this show solid right now. Y'all just tuning in. This is face off on the field. All corn is up first. Ooh, that trumpet screaming. Ooh, they managed. Oh, damn, What's wrong with them little cheering. They managed. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, Foundation, blow them bitches, blow them damn shoes. Put it out, boy. Throw that, throw that, throw that. This is some great footage, y'all, real talk. MF Cool did his thing with this. I like the energy on this dancing scene. Oh, they gonna, they gonna put the energy into it. Some of them motherfuckers can't dance. No. <laughs> Said some of them motherfuckers can't dance. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, here come the big hey, girls, I guess, huh? Hey, 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 hey. That was what Travis said, not Travis in that thing. Yeah, they're they going to Travis. Put me in that thing, coach. Put me in the game. Hey, put us in the game. Put us in the game. What, 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 She was late. Yeah. But it's still <laughs> overall good. Yeah. Just the good. outro, y'all. Hey. Hey. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, this jazz, they don't care what Yeah, when they say. play this in the stands, they be in there. That's hey. a chameleon. Hey. Go hey. girls. Get in the show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, corn. Somebody said Alabama say we eat their ass up. Oh boy, Ooh. them eat, eat who up? Them honeybees. Oh, they said yeah. honeybees. I was talking about the dancers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure I thought we were talking about the, the full band. band. We were talking about the band. I don't, I don't oh, okay. Know about this. It's a different story. Oh man, <laughs> it's a whole nother story. Huh? Yeah. Hey, so that story. was our first round of face off on the, the field. field. We had Alcorn State University. They were against Mississippi Valley, and we are gonna move straight into to our, our next, next show. Band. 
which is the Benedict College Band of Distinction. Distinction. Okay. College. Hey. Shout out. They came from South Carolina, right? Yeah. Yeah. Charleston. Is it Charleston, South Carolina, or Columbia? It's, I think it's Charleston. I don't I know. Say. It's, one, it's of one of those two, but they represent the SIAC. Yeah. Okay. And uh, they're on the come up. We've had their dancer on as well. Yeah, Miss Ashley Johnson. Shout they're out. not yeah, the. Yeah, yeah. They're not the. They're not the loudest band. They don't really go for power. They more about sound, mm -hmm. looking good, stuff like that. Yeah. So when you hear Benedict, I hear they have some great shows. I hear they got some great ballads. But if you're looking for like a rap tune from them or to get crunk from them, no. Yeah, so hey. we're gonna see. Gonna this, my, this is my first time hey. seeing their show, so I don't, they bones I don't, they, they they announcer is retarded. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that straight up. Oh yeah, I, I saw the beginning. Oh, it's Columbia. It's Columbia. Columbia. Okay, it's Columbia, South Carolina. I heard the announcer okay. in the beginning, oh. but I didn't watch the show. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be funny. Y'all ready? Let's go. Wrote a song about it. Like the hit. Let's Roll go. Roll the special needs. <laughs> Here we go. Benedict College is up next. And the this is the face off on the field segment, y'all. They own like special following announcement. According to the Ten Band Commandments of the Marching Band of Distinction, it declares that thou shalt not bear false witness against the true purple and gold. By the way, laugh my ass off. They playing Miles. So just so you know, they're playing Miles. Miles. Oh, shit. At this game. That they said that Miles bears false witness against the purple and gold. He's still, <laughs> he's still talking. Hold on, listen All to right, him. let's jump back into it. Oh, my God. And for those members of Miles College Band, if you're tired of your band director all in the videos on social media, talking trash, all taking shots at other bands, come on over to the best side. The Nigga. <laughs> That's an intro for your ass. That's the intro for you. Talk about Henny. PC, PC. Well, let's go in. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let us go in like this. Y'all let the announcer go in like that? Hey. Give you a medley of fantasy, earth, wind, and fire from 1977. The old It took them a minute to get on the field because Miles was just getting off the field. And oh yeah, Don't worry, he talking long enough. <laughs> yeah, the talking made up for it, I guess. You are witnessing nothing less than crystal clear musicality. Oh, nigga! Oh, College. my God. Welcome home. Y'all better live up to the hype, then. That's their favorite word on the West East Coast, boy. They got to live up to the hype because that announcer boosting if them you up. Want, if you want to sound good, come to Benedict. Here they go. Because here we go. Y'all just tuning in. It's Benedict for face off on the field, y'all. They sounding off though. Yeah. And again, house. They got them a media team and everything. The cameraman almost got hit. <laughs> <laughs> Those lines look pretty straight to me. That was a pretty cool intro. What you got, B Benedict College? Let's go. Intro, y'all. It's the intro. I wanted to hear the top of that chord. I guess their announcer was the intro. I, I get. I, they had. The, they took the. Uh, Probably two stepping right now. I promise you. That's <laughs> Oh, that's clean. You have two different concepts of drilling with these two bands. Yes, sir, you do. Two different concepts of, concepts of drilling, like Jerome said. So far, they sound good, man. Really flash. Yeah. You can tell those lines are off by a little bit. They can cover down a lot better. They sound good though. Yeah. They gotta, they gotta work on spaces too. Yeah. 
They're doing a lot of back and forth, though. Yeah. This remind. I think they directed us from Norfolk. That's okay. what this, this remind me of. A Norfolk show. See that line? Ooh, that snake. Ooh, if I ain't mistaken. They coming down with it though. Got the vapors. <laughs> that was a weak drill, though. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Miss Ashley Johnson. You know, she's the uh, dance sponsor over the Sensation. Shout out to her. It's you and I. Yeah. Y'all just tuning in. This is Face Off on the Field. Benedict College. Everybody got a rogue trumpet tonight. Even the ones playing on the staff. <laughs> <laughs> they going to feel me today, prof. Y'all cute, but y'all ain't kicking no ass. No lie. <laughs> nah, I know, right? <laughs> Jesus was throwing them. Nah, they're not. They're not done, though. I don't think. The flags are they gonna save them? They got. The I flag goes. Do a ballot. Now, please allow. This is the their homecoming. To do what oh, yeah. we you know do they're best. gonna do a ballot. Give you Mary J. Blige's "I'm Going Down." Okay. That's not all. We're gonna give you some of that Barry White. Oh, right. Boy. What you <laughs> yeah, Barry White. Okay. Yeah, they sound good, bro. They sound good. Okay, baritone. What was the name for? Y'all just tuning in. This is Benedict College. Face off on the field. This is a meal that left side looks a little off. Uh, the right side is missing a few people. Yeah, this I was just about to say that. This side, the right side is missing people. Start at the 40 and go out. Yeah. 50 is your central point, so that doesn't look like the right side. But what do y'all think about this arrangement? It's a little. It started off, but it's another song now. Let's go. Very white. This is practice what you preach. Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. I'd like it to be a little more intricate when it comes to the parts, though. Oh, I thought they was gonna come to the front, but they in the back. Flag's not helping them either. That's what I'm saying. I thought they was going to come to the front, front of the band. Shout out to Prime Wade Johnson. Got a packed crowd for the homecoming, I see. Oh, now they came to the front. Golden girls kick y'all butt today, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Golden girls kick both y'all ass. <laughs> and, it, and it was mostly crabs. Yeah. Before we end this homecoming 2019 halftime show, peep what the BOD has for you. Shake that by too short. Damn, y'all got y'all ass whooped by Golden Girls crabs. Damn. Boy. And of course. I'm just glad we don't have no echo today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> y'all just tuning in. This is Face Off on the Field. Benedict is up. We almost done with it. <laughs> Damn, that's an old ass song. Shake that monkey. What is 
the monkey that they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's all old, boy. Bring it back, bring it back. It, damn, I ain't heard that name in uh, Travis Porter. God damn. <laughs> How long has it been? <laughs> These niggas five years behind. I ain't gonna lie, everybody, you know, bands on the East Coast tend to play older songs. I don't know why. But hey, that's, what, that's what they do. What the better, fuck? They better start using Google. Catch up this they can't hear the F's together? Oh my God, Tubas! Shit! Rosa Parks, uh, Outkast. Uh, uh, that buzz. Everybody moved to the back of the bus. Go to the bus. Top, top wrong right now. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, uh. Song they played all day. That's true. Ooh, pick your mouth piece up. Then they picked the underground song. They showing off of miles because they keep turning to miles side. <laughs> They look like twins. They look tired. <laughs> I see that doll leg count. Okay, Benedict. Yeah, I can tell you right now, I'll come kick that ass. <laughs> yeah. That boy said, if you tired of your band director. <laughs> And then went straight Suge Knight. <laughs> he went straight Suge Knight. He sure did when he went Suge Knight on him. You don't want your band director to post y'all on social media? Come to Columbia. We got you over here at the BOD. BOD. Oh, he drops mic, cuz. <laughs> he went in on him. He tried to go in on him. But yeah, I got my score. Oh, he said from the 10 band commandments. Mm. <laughs> I was like, that was the best part of the show. He, had enough, time, he had enough time to do it, too. Well, I got my score. I got all corn with 12. I got Benedict with nine. I got All Corn with fifteen. Benedict with ten. Damn, you really like All Corn shows. Oh yeah. I got All Corn with twelve. Benedict with seven. I have All Corn with nine. And um, Benedict with seven. Okay. Damn, why you got All Corn so low? Cause everyone else got like thirteen. They didn't 12, get any threes 11. for me. They got they got one one and the, and the rest were two. Damn. Mm. Where you give them one at? The intro. Yeah, the intro. Yeah, the intro was. I can understand. Yeah, that. the intro was shaking. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. Because they that. really didn't really do, do an intro do like that. Yeah, yeah. They just marched in, marched on that, so that was considered an intro. I mean, the drum majors were clean. Yeah, yeah, it was cool, no doubt. But I get it. All right, so we can all agree that Alcorn had the better show, though, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Alcorn yep. got the dub. All right. How y'all feel in the audience? What y'all think? Yeah. What y'all think? Y'all got to enjoy this. Uh, actually, pretty hilarious halftime from Benedict. <laughs> The band, come, my <laughs> come to the BOD. BOD. <laughs> we'll help y'all out. <laughs> Man, I wish I could have read the comments when he said. <laughs> Man. Oh, it sounded like somebody just got some cash app. Uh, nah. that, that was, that was <laughs> cash app? Hey, that would no, be, that'll be a nice little sound, know, though. Right? Right? That would be very welcoming. I'm right trying now. to look for YouTube. YouTube, they kind of they ain't saying too much. But as far as like over here on Facebook, they got all corn winning. 13-7, 12-6. Uh, I just saw another one. I just saw another one. But a lot of people saying all corn for show. They say Benedict look like Morris Brown. <laughs> yeah, get the way they had the drum majors was coming out the field and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. So all right. Uh, let's let's ask the audience. Hold on, let's shit. ask them first. 
Now nah, we can do this. We gonna knock this one out. I was yeah, about to yeah. say let's let's uh, see which one we gonna do, but let's go knock this one out. Okay. So what we got up next one, Major? Before we get into it. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna ask him. So we got two battles for y'all. Our last two battles of the night. We got Alcorn versus Miles College, 2017, and we got an All Star battle. This was on the field, New Orleans, Memphis, and LLI or mm -hmm. Louisiana Leadership Institute. So, which one would y'all like to go last? Yeah, last. Hmm. L the All Star battle or, or the college battle? The college, the college battle. Miles versus Alcorn. Which one y'all want to see last? Ah, uh, shit. Mm. Let's mm, mm, mm. let's see. I'm looking. Let's see. All right, all right. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? What? Rock your horns. <laughs> Rock your horns. Mm. One. Uh oh. Two. I don't even know we playing, but I'm about to grab. Well, I know we finna play. Two. We finna play that uh, Jeopardy, ain't it? Hey. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, we got a comment. Bang, 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 Okay. <laughs> y'all want the All Star battle to go? Hold on, last? hold on, hold on, real quick. I see Alex college and All Star. Sue y'all. <laughs> you got to count them up though. We got to see which one. Two, I see more All Stars than uh, college three. on both platforms. Y'all sure? I see three. Uh, all, I see three colleges. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. Okay. All Stars last. Okay. Yeah. The All Star <laughs> battle last. Okay. We gonna knock that. Hold oh, on, let me let me be fair to you two. Let me be fair to you two. Oh, let me, uh, YouTube let, got the All Star battle too. Cause the All Star battle we are doing is L I versus oh. New Orleans versus Memphis, twenty sixteen, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So so we are gonna say them for last, okay? That was That's that, what they say. That was yeah. that L L I. No, nah, that was in Mississippi. Oh, okay. Yeah, in Jackson. I thought I went to that one. Yeah. All right, Alcorn State versus Miles College. Now, a little background for this. So for y'all that don't know, we used to, we used to clown on call this the Crown Royal Classic because you know they both purple and gold. <laughs> <laughs> but this was a Syac and a Swag battle. Uh, Miles College and uh, from from my understanding, Alcorn football team was doing really really good during this time. So I guess they just wanted to see them both go at it. This was also a big band battle because all, uh, Miles during this time has really came back into it. There was a top of their uh, conference, everything, and Alcorn. Made a name for themselves, mm -hmm. so this was actually a very highly, uh, a very highly anticipated anticipated battle. Okay. And a lot of people from in 2017 when this battle dropped said Miles took it. Oh, a lot of people said Miles yep. took it. Mm. Oh, so we gonna see. We gonna see what happens. We gonna we listen. We gonna see. It's you know, 27 minutes, so okay, that yep. ain't bad. That's good, like six, seven rounds. Yeah. Okay. Five to seven rounds. So y'all picked it. Y'all said let's do the college first. So we're gonna do the college first. Let's and the all-star battle is last. Who's up first on this? Miles is Miles. Up first. They cause they had all corn. So Miles up first. Miles up first, y'all. All this crown royal out here. Here we go. Crown Royal. Two was gonna go dumb. They outside, who? <laughs> Big Rich Town? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You know the Big Rich Town. Come on, Tubas, keep it together.
season. They could have ended that bitch right yeah. there. Shout out to Mellows. You already know cool. Miles got to run them tuba breaks a couple times. Shout out to the Mellows for that cool. They're very proud of their tubes. I want to give them Miles. They're very proud of their tuba section, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You don't want to talk to you right now. No, no, Joe. Go sit somewhere else. Let's go, all corn. Got the white shirts on. Oh shit. Oh, they got the white on. Mm. What that supposed to mean? You gonna see? You said the white okay. shirts. <laughs> they play different when they got the gold shirts on compared to when they got the white shirts on. What about the purple shirts? <laughs> niggas got purple shirts? They got all of them. They purple, gold, and white, whatever. That melody to come out some more. There you go. Now ah, they rushing it. crazy because this battle happened earlier in the year and the, that same year they saw Jackson and they trumped with non-existent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, this the same year we just watched that battle with them and Jackson. Alcorn had some battles that year. They did crazy too. Alcorn hang over at least they don't get There you go. Okay. That's on that that's on with the L minor. At least the cutoff was good. Oh man. All right, Miles, what you got? Why we didn't get this Miles on Bloody Sunday? That's funny because that spring, it's the same band. That Jeez! That should have opened up. Oh, this uh, this night on the ball ma mountain, mountain. I felt that one. Felt He's that. a trumpet player, y'all. He's a trumpet player. Look at that. Look at that. They, they took y'all just tuning in. This is Miles versus Alcorn, 2017. As a musician, I got to appreciate this, yeah. bro. This is beautiful, man. This is nice. You don't want to with the dominate on your song like that. 
true. That was nice on tempo, though. Yeah, you're right. That was on tempo. They say they want energy and execution on everything. On Music everything, yes, it don't sir. matter the tune. It don't matter the song. It don't matter the tune. It don't matter. They want the same energy and execution. Miles, so far, what is this round two? Mm. Between two songs, round they two. kept the same energy through mm -hmm. both. On two different type of songs. Two yeah. different type two of different songs. Type of song. Two different type of styles. Yeah. Let me tell you something. They got some. Mm. They, 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 these songs got some chops. These guys got some chops. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. I know that song that's right nice. there was probably kind of like hard to come back from. Like mm. respond to. I was just that, thinking that. That's, that's very hard like, to respond to. Let's just to. take a second. How many? I can count on one hand, probably on two fingers, how many schools could come back. From something like that, yeah. right? A rap song ain't gonna cut it. Uh uh. What you got? A, ba a battle will barely cut it. Mm -mm. You gotta have a technical piece that 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 is very intricate for something like that. You have to come back with it. Yeah. You mm. know your your uh your Tennessee State's uh um what do they have um the Star Wars song? Don't they do something? No, they do Star Trek. Yeah, something yeah. like that. The Star yeah. Trek intro, something like that, would be good. And then you have your um what are you Bohemian Rhapsody? You know, stuff like that can can probably come back, and I mean, you can't throw no lions, tigers, and bears, and no um, stuff like that at something <coughs> like that. You just gonna hurt yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Round two, Alcorn, what you got? What you gonna do, Corn? Do what you gonna do, Alcorn? What you gonna do? The Tiger of San Pedro. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nigga, they played that shit on you. Oh man, that shit was. <laughs> Leave me alone. No. Stop hitting them so hard, bro! <laughs> the name of that song was Night on the Ball Mountain. Oh, I'm just reading this. Boys loud, but they fluffing. Trying too hard. That's what remind me of that year. It was loud in that year, but it was it wasn't all that. Y'all feeling it? Y'all just tuning in? This is All Four versus Miles, 2017. <laughs> just stop dogging us around, Miles. They, no, Put they, Thuggy Bear out the stadium. He whooping on us too bad. Actually, they upgraded Thuggy Bear. Yeah, Thuggy oh. Bear ain't Thuggy Bear no oh, more. Oh, really? Yeah, they upgraded yeah. Thuggy Bear. I'm going to miss Thuggy Bear. He a pimp named Thuggy now. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, go, what you got, Miles? Round three. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, Alcorn really don't sound like garbage in that movie. Yeah, like you said, Cold World. Oh. Um, I agree, Mr. Come On. Oh. 
Four for four. Oh. Jay Z. Appreciate it, nigga. What's this? I'm not black. I'm OJ or something. Yeah, this yeah. Jay Z. Four four. Four four four. I know this lit that stadium up, bro. They got it together now. It's, be, it's a little bit better. They must have had a tight up during that. They, now they just slowed it down a little bit. Yo, hear them niggas slowing down. Oh, they fucking this up. <laughs> yeah, they digging it down. <laughs> and not a good one. That's the only, that's the only not so good part of the song. Did I love it? <laughs> Nigga, that's Miles again! Shit! Miles said, fuck that, out of turn, bitch! Oh, you already know it's about to be some. Someone's doing this shit right here! You already know! Shit! Goddamn! All for you! All for you! Let me day somebody come help him! Somebody help him, Chico! Chico Frank! Demo somebody! Somebody! Okay. I don't we think don't, we count. We ain't gonna we count ain't that. We're gonna nah. say here on Force 48. <laughs> that was a murder. Come on, all corn. Them niggas play two songs on you. What you got? Oh, uh, I'm gonna come back on them. Hey. Hey. That's that kill Jill. That's that killer Mike and Big Boy. Uh -huh. Hold on to the flow that you already know. I like that album. Uh,
watching. I see you, Everson Martin. We Thank appreciate you, for joining you man. In, sir. I appreciate you, Snipes. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate Shout out to both of y'all boys. Snipes. All y'all had to do was tell me to put the keys down. Shit. <laughs> God damn, use that size, nigga. Use yeah. the size. Throw your weight at that nigga. Ugh. God damn. Hey, that big boy album was underrated, man. I enjoyed that whole album. Come on, all coin. That's what I'm talking about. That was nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, but <laughs> you know, you go to a holiness church and they be praying for you when you trying to give your life to God. Blue, blue, Round blue, four. Blue, 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 raise wow. your hands. Two <laughs> percent <laughs> 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 like a rolling tire, bro. That was all corn best song though. So far, yeah. Yeah, it was. Paul, call Tyrone. Damn. Damn. Hey, bro, tell Jim, James, and Paul to call Tyrone real quick. Shit. Cause shit. Jeremy, lower the uh, at the uh, the iris on your phone. He just shook the phone so much yeah, he so probably did. messed it up. Tap it and drag your finger down. You're too bright. You light skin. You ain't put, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> Right, right there. What them bones, boy. Bro, I can just imagine what this sounded like in person. Some people out did. there in that crowd, though. Just kill a kid. Oh, that's marching sport. Okay. You see, I know marching sport. Go back and watch this video. So y'all can Seven see more minutes, y'all. This is a pretty good battle now. Real talk. <laughs> Seven more minutes. But you got all queen. <laughs> that's how you make a little a song, boy. To be fair, Miles is bringing the energy. Yeah.
up and down. Yeah. Oh. I know the song. Oh. I'm laughing at Adro. What he did. <laughs> Scarf Ring and bring me another bottle of water. I want the a a a acai. How do you say that? Acai? I don't know. The purple one. Bring me the purple one. <laughs> Where's Jim, James, and Paul at? <laughs> Thank you, Uncle. Um, they watching the battle. They sitting on the uh, hill. They call Tyrone yet. Yeah. They sitting on the hill. They sitting on the hill on the scoreboard. What's up? They still got them three timeouts from the swag championship. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Miles. Keep, you got, all you gotta do is play. Come on, upper brass. Y'all play this all the time, man. Y'all excited? Calm it down. <laughs> Somebody gonna start doing it in a few. <laughs> I just heard one. Shit. There you go. Even a damn woodwind's allowed. <laughs> Boy, look what the ball's doing. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Tuba. Tempo. Tempo, man. Tempo. Mm -hmm. You made a great song just sound all right. Y'all almost yeah. had it. Almost. Oh, Almost got it. Round five. All going. Let's Almost go. Almost had it. Oh. <laughs> gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> <laughs> roll it up, roll it up. Well, I haven't heard this song in so long. Okay. All going. Love Rihanna, huh? Mm Thank you for joining us on YouTube. Warren is in this beat. Riri will be so disappointed with y'all. That's the Star Search Riri right there. That ain't the one that got the record deal yet. Still kind of okay, but you know. See, this is what happens where you wear the white when you're supposed to wear the gold. <laughs> that F1 kind of went way out. 
out there by itself. <laughs> oh, that one, that one. You know that one. That was somebody else. Yeah. That was a trumpet? Mm -hmm. No way. Yep, that dude right there next to me. Come on, like Foundation. That did not sound like a trumpet, yeah. though. I would say this all core and beats online is pushing all 20 of them are playing. Why Jeremy on everybody's shot? I'm just a popular nigga, bro. <laughs> 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 Last song. That's it. See? That same nigga. Mm -mm. Is it over? Yep. yep. Kelsey That's loves it. how he's. Yep, yep, yep. You don't get no free Put our music back on. Jim, James, Paul. You say he here? Where he at? Where he at? He on the phone? Oh, give, give me that motherfucker real quick. Real quick. Oh, uh, shit. Hello? Oh, Keys. Hello? Hey. Hey, dog. <laughs> Let me tell you about these niggas, man. You gassed up yet? Hey, Tyrone, is that you? I need you to come along, man. Mouse came downhill and put they foot. Come on down the stretch, baby. Come on down. Ass. Hey, Tyrone, gas up us. We gonna straight around the whole state. Hold on, why the bus is coming? They already at home. I'll tell you why. Okay, tell me why. They don't deserve to go to the dorm room tonight. Uh, uh, they need to witness again on the streets, oh on the buses. No more go to corral, y'all. No more go to corral. That's it. It's over with. Ryan's barely pulling up. Louie's going out of business. Everything just falling apart. Where we gonna eat, y'all? They get them bologna sandwiches and them zero percent juices that you get in jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Zero percent fruit juice. Not the zero percent fruit juice. Oh, it ain't nothing but color and sugar in there. <laughs> I got my score added up already. These I, niggas, they don't even need to go to the on campus, bro. They need to I'm go around the state and just think I about what happened. I got my score. Y'all niggas need to go from the coast to the delta. Don't go to Jackson. But just <laughs> from the coast to the delta and come right back to Lorman. I right. got uh, I got seven miles. I got four Alcorn. I got six Alcorn miles, eight. I have uh, eight miles, five Alcorn. Okay. And Asia Rad is up. We got the same thing. Oh, y'all got the same thing? Uh huh. Uh, what y'all got in the comment section? What y'all think in the comments? Damn, no more Applebee's either? No Damn. more. Damn. Y'all Every, cold. Dang. Everything hey. closed down? <laughs> hey, yeah, cold. those, those margaritas be hitting them dollar margaritas be banging. Out of yeah, yeah. What's going Damn, on? Damn, not apps. Damn. <laughs> you know what? We're going to start our own restaurant in this thing then. Show style. <laughs> Show style buffet. Show style buffet. <laughs> We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna sponsor all the bands. We're gonna have press ham on Ritz crackers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Rocco? Thank you for joining us. Oh, bro. This is press Rocco. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even get the Ritz, we get the HEB brand. <laughs> they say they know no McDonald's. They don't get no McDonald's, no Burger King. They don't get Boy. shit. I'm dead. Oh, what they say in the comments, though, Thomas about this Rankin score? They just keep laughing about miles. Tyrone. 
Sheridan says eight four. And someone says L corn. L corn. DJ Cold World says eight six miles. In Facebook, uh, Reggie Jackson says, call Tyrone on him. Okay, Jonas. Oh, right. <laughs> Someone say, call it Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> call it Tyrone. <laughs> That's funny. I'm dead, bro. Miles 8, all corn 2. Okay. Damn. I mean, <laughs> oh, it was it was bad, but it wasn't that it bad. It wasn't that bad. I don't, yeah. Nah, it wasn't that bad. I mean, all corn was, I mean, uh, Miles was putting their foot in all and, But the crazy ass. thing about Miles, everybody was expecting that Miles against Southern during the spring in the yeah. bottom ground. Everybody was expecting that, but they, then when they got there, everybody was like, they what happened? They just the club up. All I know is we could tell. Bum, 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 bang, bang, <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> We could tell who had the black Air Force Ones on. <laughs> but what we got next? What Our main next? event. Shout out to D. Jackson. Yeah. We got okay, New Orleans All Star Band All right, versus D. Memphis Mass Band versus Louisiana Leadership Institute. Independent Showdown 2016. Jackson, Mississippi. All Star. Are you ready? Hide this, your kids and this your is wife. about to be a lot of batch assness. <laughs> <laughs> Batches. Batchacity. <laughs> and, this like is, that. and this is on the field, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, they're on the field, not in the stands. So it's actually a three bands going at it, one at a time, kind of like Crankfest. Sounds saucy. Who up first? That's Memphis. They had a bunch of student arrangements. They didn't have their original staff there yet. Most of the, everybody on, on the staff was from Talladega. Wow. Boy, I'm trying to this. Woo, shit. And y'all wanted to go over this last. A lot of beat tones. Y'all just tuning in. This is Memphis versus New Orleans versus LII. Oh, come on, man. This is Memphis right here. Two songs, then we gonna judge did both they, of them together. Did they just stop? What the what, what, what the hell? Memphis again? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nigga, the battle hadn't started yet. The battle hasn't started yet. Who is this? Memphis. Memphis. New Orleans must not be there yet. Yeah. New Orleans might be running late. Again, and y'all wanted to listen to this last. <laughs> we thought the college battle was gonna be ass. Come on, Marcus, drop the mic. He said, y'all wanna listen to this last. <laughs> now y'all know y'all need to get that man in Atlanta. 
got this short, short dude in the director's chair up there standing up. Oh, D. Jackson, they say you're going to have to glove up against all of our fans, bro. Oh, boy. Hey, D, I can't help you. He's going to go MIA on this one. That little pocket of trumpets, though. They're probably oh the worst Memphis Jesus. band I heard. That's all they got. Trumpets and B-tones. They run the back. This probably this probably the worst I ever heard Memphis in Mad Man. Yeah, they was going through some shit this year, huh? <laughs> they ain't going through a lot. All star, you get what you get. It's yeah. all star band. Yeah. <laughs> New Orleans must be coming in now. <laughs> I guess so. Y'all better come on in, yo. They talking about coming, coming, coming. What you say, D. Jackson? D. Jackson say all y'all can meet him in the grass right now. <laughs> <laughs> he say meet him in oh, Tony's park. In the water. Okay. There you go. So we're not gonna count that one, is it? We're gonna count that first one and the second one. L. I. The first one L. I. played. Now we gotta count New Orleans. How about this? We just start with New Orleans. Let's start. Let's yeah. do that. Let's do that. Let's just start with New Orleans. Let's do that. We start with New Orleans. Clean slate. Because both of them wasn't it. Gonna let them come in late and do this. Fucking mellow, Fucking mellow. After all that, y'all be gone. Up that little one part. I'm about to throw these dollars at y'all and y'all don't get to me. I'm dead. Didn't they play Burst this year, boy? Boy. Y'all just tuning in. This is New Orleans All Star Band versus Memphis versus, versus Eli. You feel like this lost so much energy. It did. It started off. Like on top, then it's all going down. The mic is going to go back up, though. Oh, it's about to get real. Let's go, New Orleans. Round one. People sending them bitches. Oh, uh, none exist. Until they play a part with somebody else. It's kind of hard okay. to when them beat tones are cutting through like that. Okay, Memphis, you up next. Let's go. Round one. Let's go. It's kind of, it's kind of better. Interesting song selection. They must ain't got a lot of trombones. They don't. They That's got two, four, six, seven trombones. That's why. That's why they ain't got no wall. Got like 12 to 13 yeah, got no But they got 17 beats on. I can say this, this sound better than the last two songs they played. Come on. Hold up. As soon as I say something, Trump is low. Uh, 
I mean, y'all had enough to have a foundation. How many they got? They're about 12 or 13. That that's, means only, that's good enough. That means I'm saying they had enough to make a foundation. Only four seconds. of them should be playing the high part. It's not like everybody was trying to do it. Okay. Like you said, we need more of a foundation on that. Y'all just tuning in. This is Memphis versus New Orleans versus Illinois 2016. Perfect example of Make sure y'all like everybody subscribe. wearing the cape. Yep. <laughs> they supposed to be doing it, man. It's balanced everything. That was Memphis, y'all. Li is up next. It's gonna be a long battle for Memphis. It's a long day. Let's go, Li. What you talking about, Li? Yeah. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. Let's go. Ever water? This is what my period girl can sound like. Voicing on that Liberian girl just drove me nuts, bro. Who? Ever Waters. Oh, Ever Waters. Y'all yeah. oh. just tuning in to LI versus Memphis versus New Orleans All Star Band 2016. Y'all just tuning in. This is LI versus New Orleans versus Memphis 2016. All Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Someone's sticking out bad. Come on, Tupac. Yeah. That's the one with his bell turned the wrong way. <laughs> Don't you hate that? You got all the bells lined up right, but then you got, you got that one motherfucker <laughs> like this. Everybody like this, but your ass like this. Tell you now, Ella, I took that first round. Oh yeah, mm. Ella, I took the first round. I, I was at this battle. I think I still have this on the flash drive somewhere. Let's go, New Orleans. Just to say, we might have to count some of the other songs. Some. So for the other two bands, what are they gonna be fat in New Orleans? We'll see. We'll say, say, say. Yeah.
this this thing. That's hurting New Orleans is Trump. Yeah. But, you, but shit, all them f horns what you gonna do? Them B tones are monsters too. Yeah. Them B tones are playing, bro. Yeah. Let's go, Memphis. They should have gave some of them f horns some trumpet parts. They all shouldn't have had the same parts. Come on, Memphis. I don't think y'all was ready for this song, bro. <laughs> y'all just tuning in. This is LI versus Memphis versus New Orleans All Star Band 2016. What's up, Jay Potts? Thanks for joining us, bro. Memphis Mass Band playing right now. 2016 versus LI in New Orleans. Come on, Memphis, dog. Come on, Memphis. Come on, man. Do this for Bill Street, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all was a gangster ass city. A gangster ass city. But y'all not so gangster in this battle. Who ain't ain't who from Memphis? Ain't ball MJG? Three Six Mafia, mm -hmm. Player Fly, yeah, Skitty Pack, come on. Skitty, Skitty Black Pim. Uh, There's a lot of people. Uh, uh, DJ uh, Zerg, uh, Tommy Wright the Third. I like Memphis. I love Memphis. BB King. Lord, Lord Infamous, you know what I'm saying? Three, so yeah. Come on, LLI, what y'all got? Round two. I beat him. He, he got killed like a couple years ago. Oh, so yeah, he got killed in New Orleans. He stayed out here in Houston. Wow. Okay. Who got killed? Oh, just seen his song. Oh. He went back to his hometown and they killed him in his hometown. That's how they do you in your hometown. Dirty. That's crazy. He stayed out here. Damn shame, man. That's why you gotta get out of your hometown. Man. Come on, no, 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 no.
could have ended it right there. I'm feeling 75% of this arena. That's about how I feel about it. Tubas is killing it. They're not together. Between two bands on, my, on that round. Mm -hmm. Let's go, uh, New Orleans, round three. <laughs> Someone said they apologize for ask, asking for this last. I told you. <laughs> That's why I kept looking at y'all like, do y'all really want to look at Everything, man. You do this every time, this still fly. I told you. Every time they play this. Then you then you just had a then you just have a no limit versus cash money I last week. New Orleans playing around with them right now. Yeah, they playing. That's what it seemed like. They pulled this out. They, it seemed like they playing around. Now, I don't like how they executing it, in my yeah. opinion. Quan, what makes this song so close to your heart? What is what is it about this song? It's because it came out in 2002. Oh, is that when he was born? That's when you was born? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, Why you sorry. playing? I think he did. He was born in 2002 or something like that. No okay. cap. <laughs> Crazy. See, the 2000 kids are fucking adults now. <laughs> That's the kids next door generation right there. <laughs> 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 They were fun to mellow. That was a good call and response. It Bruh, didn't yeah, save the, the beat song. The B-tones are fucking, oh my God. It didn't Woo. save the song, but that was a good call and response. Good call. What you got? What you got, Memphis? <laughs> he said he was born in 02. I told this you. This is the first song he got cranked on. They cranked on him when he was in love with bands. More than 02 got cranked by an 02 song. Oh, this Titty Boy. AKA t 2 Chain. 2 Chain. They actually gave that part to the trombone. You can't even hear it. Why? They should have gave it to the people. <laughs> This should have gave the beat on that point, bro. That is the beat song. You know what I'm saying? That part they were singing? Yeah, it sounded like, was. It, it sound like the trombones were playing it too. Bro, that was the beat song. Oh. That was the beat song. Okay. Apparently all the good songs got played in this battle. Apparently D. Jackson don't know how to pick a battle. <laughs> mm. And D. Jackson say he waiting on everybody in the coming. Two tools 
playing with the two in the front. <laughs> I'm gonna start listening to me, I told y'all. I closed one of my rings, y'all. Woohoo! I don't even know what to get at, but I do. <laughs> the same one the other two got from them. Uh, pack of those 12 pack of uh, goose legs. 12 yeah, pack. I give them some Cheerios. Let's go, you? L.I. <laughs> Fruit Loops. There you go. Give them a Fruit Loops. Shout out to these arrangers that put all of their heart in. Shout out to them. Yeah, that was a Taylor arrangement. That was Taylor. Right yeah. hey. Let's you go, New Orleans. Round four, New Orleans. You Let's go. You could just tell how he writes. Even if it's not a two or a one, you can still tell his style. Let's go. Uh -oh. yeah. Okay, a good comeback. A good response. Two are together. Don't say it too soon. Ooh. All the F horns and y'all couldn't play that part clearer than that. That's your bones. No, no, the, the accent. That's nice right there. Good win. It's always something. I swear the head holds, man. The head
Stop thinking so far in the comments. We are round four. New Orleans. They want more. They want more energy. They want more energy from the song. From the battle. From the battle. I just can't have an F1 section bigger than a trumpet section. I just don't see how some bands do it. What you got, Memphis? You, you got to come on with it. Shit, probably another goose egg. They say they breed them in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> they say they breed them in the back. Oh, shit. That Kiss it better, whatever. Yeah. Ray 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 Ray. I'm the person I remember playing this with all going. College mm -hmm. wise. Yep, inside. Do like it almost. A little bit softer. Too much time, not enough lot. Boy, if you don't get by, let me chill out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> let me chill out. <laughs> that should have had the beat on help him out with that, bro. Dude, eyebrows are sticking in backwards on him. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Oh boy. Y'all gonna listen to me next time, right? I said that y'all really wanna listen to this at the end. Man, I'm trying to be waiting on that part. Damn, Master someone on YouTube Master said, Master. damn, is Memphis and Alcorn sharing arrangements? That's why I said Alcorn yeah. was the only one to play this that I know of. This is one of those times I'd rather hear Alcorn Let's take the person song. who wrote it on staff over there. How many eggs they made today? I don't know. I don't know. It's a good product, man. They got they got one for me. They yeah. got a one for me on one of the rounds. Well, at least y'all got a decent White Castle out there, Memphis. I don't know. <laughs> I heard they got some good-ass barbecue. Let's yeah. go, Eli. Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> nice tuba. What's up, Darius? Thanks for joining us. This is Ella I plan right now. This is a Gucci. Round four. That we only round four. Round four. Round four. Li. Let's go. Fifteen more minutes. Uh, <laughs> it's probably like a couple more rounds. Two more rounds. Uh, thank y'all for staying with us. Those we, who appreci have. we appreciate y'all for staying with us. I told y'all y'all should listen to me. Y'all best listen to Uncle Marcus now. The Mellows. You see, y'all's y'all best listen to Uncle Marcus now. Y'all best listen to Uncle Marcus. They got too excited. Way too excited. Now you see, what happened was, is you zig when you should have zagged. Well, shout out less up to Uncle, Uncle Marcus. Uncle Marcus. <laughs> I 
like this probably the worst song they played so far. I just don't. I just don't get to play. Yeah. This, this don't make nothing. But they, they Y'all come on, man. Y'all lost me at the end. Y'all added an uh, extra egg into the carton. Mm -hmm. It wasn't ass. Oh, uh, no. They finna go to a drum battle? Oh, no. That, that might be it. Drummers. Drummers. Let's see. I pray to God Are they still that playing? Hold on. Drummers. That's straight drummers? Straight Typ typically, when the same. drummers come up in a summer battle, the band is going to the stands. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Right so there. we was even. So we had to Ooh, use the other thank two. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, that was four rounds. Yeah, yeah four rounds. It just seemed like it was longer than that. Mm. While the Capellas are tallying up their score, for all of those that know me oh, wow. and follow Bandhead Network, we have a show that comes on every Saturday. Typically at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yeah. Right. Calling Hanging with the Band Head. So typically what we do is we put our favorite playlist together. Yeah, our first yeah. battle was on during the break show that we had. We had Teddy Riley oh, yeah. versus Babyface. Live from the basement. Oh, yeah. Live we, from the basement. We was up in that thing with him. And then last, just this past week, we just did uh, Cash Money versus, versus no, limit. no Limit. Now, if you go check that out on Bandhead Network, I, uh, I put the actual playlist of the videos together so that you can go and support those videographers. And then I actually put an Apple iTunes um, list of all of the songs up there for you as well. So you can go okay. back and listen to the actual song. So expect the same thing with this ATL mix that's coming up this Saturday. Hopefully you guys tune in. Okay. If you have a playlist that you like, that you want to share with the band world, you can hit me up on Facebook at Bandhead Network and I will premiere your list to the band heads and see what they think about it all right okay. i got my score tallied up let me go and do my score i got i got memphis with one hmm. i got li with four and i got new orleans with five I that last it. song that last song messed li up yeah for me i got new orleans six memphis zero li five memphis two li and new orleans both five Memphis zero, LLI New Orleans four. Goose head. Goose. Nobody pulled ahead. Yeah, like this battle was. I don't know. And everybody had their own flaws, so there was nobody that was just like, yeah, it's just yeah. stomping a mm -hmm. hole into somebody. Mm -hmm. this, yeah. This battle was painful. That's what I said to me, in my opinion. It wasn't more painful than that all corner in Jackson battle. Yeah. That Ooh, shit was man. painful. Yeah, that was painful. God, yeah, because those are college um, bands. But like I was saying, more. like I was saying, mm. if LI they they would have played something different at the, that last song, it probably would have been different a game changer for me. It's just the last song they played, I wasn't really feeling it. Yeah, like Justin that. said that they played all their good stuff in the stands. But. See, yeah. See? I wanna hear I just wanna hear New Orleans play that uh, the they, they, uh, Jackson uh song. One of these shows we gonna cover the stand. What? Jesus. You talking Jesus. about seen it all? Yeah. Oh. That's what it is. I just want to hear them play that one time. Right. <laughs> that was cool. One time, two was messing it up. So what y'all got in the comments? Who y'all got? I got Everybody it. just happy that it's over. Yep. We're glad. I t next time y'all gonna listen to me. I told right. you. Hey, y'all. I be telling y'all, Marcus know every fucking thing, y'all. Y'all gonna start listening to a nigga, oh, bro. Man. This nigga know everything. I don't know everything. Listen to Uncle Marcus. Shit, this nigga know everything. All, yep. nigga know everything from Texas to fucking on West Virginia. Yep. He said, West don't Virginia. play with that man. He said West Virginia. Yep. Yeah. But what we got? What we I got? I thought he was gonna say East Feliciana or something like that. The encyclopedia, that nigga go, my nigga. Like, he said East Feliciana. This nigga know everybody, bro. Man. <laughs> man. What we got up? Come, I nigga from Mississippi know everybody. Hey, I've been here with that boy Marcus and hey, CIA. I'd have been all kind of places. Like I told y'all, my grandfather, he was the first black police officer in the state of Mississippi. Yeah. See, look. I'd have been everywhere with that man. Yeah. Well, he passed away a couple years ago. Okay. Yeah. Rest so, in yeah. peace. Pop. Rest in peace. Pop. Damn, he went to like 30 something states. He'd have mm -hmm. been, I'd have been everywhere with him, man. <laughs> everywhere. Shit. He was a DJ too. And a D. Right. That's how I was going to all mm. going games. My granddaddy knew everybody at the all corn. I was in Prince Rock. I was, I was everywhere. Yeah. So we we'll, so we'll go to Alcorn. He was, man, he was the man around the town, man. So when we go to Alcorn, we got we just gotta bring you around. Like. He said, bring me around, mm -hmm. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, tune boy. in next week, where we will have head band director 
From Lang- we getting a lot of headband directors over there, but we yes, moving on sir. up. Moving the on up apartment to the, the east sky. side. <laughs> Hey, Mark Gordon will be live with us next week. Next uh, Thursday. Shout out to the Pride over there at Langston. Langston University. Langston University. Come on, Pride. Stand Where up. Where you at, John Mooney? You always in our inbox. Yeah, we got your boy on, now. <laughs> you hey. always in our inbox from Langston. We got your boy on. I'm in a I'm in a group with like about 15 of them Langston cats. I'm going to have to make sure that they get a, uh, get into this. But mm-hmm. yeah, tune in next week. Uh, Mr. Mark Gordon will be live here on Show Style Talk. On All Real Radio. Yes, yeah. sir. Back to you, Adro. All right, man. What else we got for the people? What else we got for them? Uh, I don't th- BLM. Oh, yeah. That, oh, next week, like we said, we got two battles for you already set out for you. The UAPB versus Jackson and the uh, Boombox 2014 Battle we, Band. And we also mm. already, somebody already requested a face-off on the field for us. So we already got that set. It's Gremlin versus Jackson 2019. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. So, so we, our already, show is already set, set up. For next week, yeah. We got two battles. Because they, they're both an hour. Yeah. Two so battles. we got two battles. And a face off on the Bring field. My face snack. off on the plus, field. Plus the interview. The interview is first. So. Bring your drinks because they're yeah. going to be long. Mm-hmm. Bring your drinks. The interview is first with Mark, Mr. Mark Gordon. I might bring the hookah next week then. <laughs> <laughs> Had a table. Having smoking hey. in here. Go ahead. Oh, boy. Oh, what, y'all got anything in the comments? Anything y'all got to say? Or oh, we going to be out of here. It's I'm it, yeah, you see, I've been saving this uh, crazy cowboy oh, for, the crib, for the crib. For the crib. Nigga, yeah. I felt it every time I took a sip. I said, fuck that. <laughs> I said, Shout fuck out that. to Trav, though. Make sure you come on safe or whatever. Yeah, yeah be safe, yeah, Travis. Be safe, bro. We miss you, little bro. Yes, sir. It, that nigga not little. He older than us. <laughs> but, I mean, to him. Well, not you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, yeah, other than that, I, I think that's it. That's it? That's Make it. Make sure y'all stay safe out there, you know. Oh, I forgot one thing. They, they canceled the uh, the Jackson versus Tennessee State game. I saw that earlier Oh, yeah, today. Southern Heritage uh, Classic and, got canceled. And Southern versus Tennessee and State. And Southern versus Tennessee State. No! They canceled both of those games. Yeah. So I know people who marching for Tennessee State like, damn, damn, we don't see nobody no more. Because that was that was the two main games this year. Mm-hmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. Well, since we got a chance to go over it, a uh, fam, you've come to the SWAC 2021 yes, unanimous sir. decision from their from their board, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how do y'all real quick? How do y'all feel about that? It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. for money wise, it's gonna be a big boost. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, money wise, logistics and all that. Yeah. I think money wise, I think it's gonna. Yeah, I think it's a great power move because everything is off I-10 for them. The yeah, farthest, they, all they have to do is go down I-10. Uh, the farthest school they got to go to is what, PV and Pine Bluff? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Those are the only two farthest schools. And to be honest with you, Texas, Arkansas. Yeah. Right. I, I need the Rattler Nation to stand up. Stand make up. Make sure y'all travel. Make sure y'all support. Make sure y'all start tuning in to us because, you know, y'all swag now. Y'all from the swag nation. Make sure y'all start tuning in. We give y'all a little love. Give y'all y'all them boys been hell. talking hot shit, though. They've been in but, every group know. talking that noise. Welcome every high. I, I, feel like, I, feel like, I feel like they should never open, let them in until next year. That's too, that's too early. They should have let them in next year. What, and all these, yeah, and, I'm, and all these other groups. I know they're in the ran, regular band groups, but the rest of them, nah, they should have stayed. Boy, cool. they start going <laughs> in in them sports groups. Yeah, our football team going to smash all corn. I was like, damn. The boys talking shit. But Jackson funny, though. Jackson made a video where they beat them twice. Uh, damn. They put, they put it on Facebook. Yeah. Damn. Hey, the football teams are beefing, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Nobody care about that, them scrubs oh, anyway. And also, I saw about the CIAA and the side. They trying to do some kind of merge thing. Okay. Add, like, what, 18 teams or something? What? They trying to send some schools to the... Make send some schools to D2 or something like that. Yeah, so for what mm. y'all don't know, the MEAC is imploding. Yeah. NCAT has already left. They're going to Big South. It joined Hampton. Hampton, ben, Hampton mm. been left like two years ago. FAMU, of course, come to the SWAC 2021. That leaves what, the smaller schools. Right oh, you got us Norfolk left. What? BC, South, Carolina, South Carolina State, BCU. BCU. Then everybody else. They're really Delaware not. Delaware State, yeah. Morgan State, Coppin State. Uh, East. Uh, I'm missing a couple. East but. Uh, <laughs> oh, North Carolina Central. Yeah. North Carolina Central. So you leave those schools, right? Some more, yeah. So what they what they want to do is from from what from what it was told, what it was proposed, they want to knock South Carolina State and Bethune Cookman down to D two and and, and take and, Norfolk and put them in another conference or something like that. They want to put they want to also drop Norfolk down to D two because that's all they the do, way. Oh, they do okay. So they can be CIAA. Makes more sense logistically because all the Virginia schools are in CIAA yeah. and whatever else is around. Yeah, them. South Carolina and all. And yeah. as far as the SIAC, they want to drop down D two. This is just a this a proposal. They want to drop them down to D two to save money. Well, the side mm-hmm. has already D two. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, Bethune Cookman and yeah. South Carolina State. They want to drop them down to D two to join the SIAC to save money. Yeah. You know, to save their accreditation and everything. Because 
South Carolina State has been going through money troubles for five years straight now. Yeah, they've been going through it. Like, they may not get as much publicity and attention compared to Bethune Cookman, mm. but they, they damn near closed for good in 2015. I don't know how the alumni did it, but they, they, was they showed. They, was, they, was almost they wiped stayed off open. The map. They was like, they gone. was literally almost wiped off. And the, the only, map. like with their band, they only had scholarships with like music majors. Everybody else just had to march for their band. That's why their band had shrunk and everything. Yeah, that's why director left and everything. You know, they really had. Really big money troubles at South Carolina State. Like, yeah. really big. And now Population see- went down. Everything. Like, it's bad over there. I'm surprised these niggas are alive. I'm I, just going to be honest. I was you. thinking maybe they might. They probably have it in the books. I was thinking they might add some schools to the MEAC to, to help them out or something like that. Like, add a, um, who, add a uh, Benedict. Since Benedict on that side. Uh, Man, honestly, uh, bro. State or somebody. Me personally, I I would say just build up the CIAA and the SIAC. There's yeah. no point in having four conferences. Obviously, that was too much. One is imploding. One is more popular. One yeah. is not even recognized, and it's the first fucking conference. And the other one is coming up, but it's D two, and, the C- and, and the C- no one cares about. And it. the CIAA is is mainly known for like the basketball because the CIAA tournament. Like football wise, you don't really hear too much about them. That's what I'm yeah. saying, bro. Like CIAA has a lot of history. Yeah, they do. And I think something like that, you know, kind of just spread those MEAC schools around. Because truth be told, logistically, MEAC was horrible. Horrible travel. Oh, Tallahassee yeah. to Delaware? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Dog, that's Go horrible. Go to Tallahassee all the way to Delaware? Bro, that's horrible, Delaware should have been, been in Delaware should have been in CIAA instead of being in MEAC. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can see why Winston-Salem live. You can see why Savannah State live. You know, all this little shit that's happening, you know. So, overall... I think what's about to happen, I think the SIAC is about to take over, become that number two conference as far as band, sports, in the HBC. But they're already world. number two to me in band. Well, of course, Honestly, to yeah. us, but yeah. to the public. To they, overall, yeah. yeah. They don't get their name the out The CIAA, way. I feel like they're going to come back up, but it's going to take time. And administrators have to truly care and truly believe in their products. Swag, we good, nigga. Shit. We bring the money <laughs> in, nigga. We got Bayou Classic, Magic City Classic. We got bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go now. It's time to go. We got cheese, dope, and hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Project Pat. Oh, boy. It's time to, it's time to go now. Yeah, it's time to go. Censored. Tyrone, come pick us up. Where you at, Tyrone? Come pick us up. Tyrone. Let's get up now, out of here. Hey, real talk. Them Southern and Family Games. You know you're gonna say you y'all know y'all gonna see them niggas every year, Jerome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every whether it's in where they see them this year, whether it's in Baton Rouge or in Tallahassee, y'all make it a classic and put it in the middle. Either way, y'all seeing them niggas every year, so get used to it. Get used to it, Jukes. <laughs> y'all seeing them snakes, Jukes. Get them a little bumblebee. <laughs> get them with that Elsa. <laughs> and Elsa gonna get it's em. all good. All you gotta throw is a couple of ballots at them, and they. You know. Talk about your subtler trophy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we gave them boys a long show today. Get the dance. I think next week gonna even be longer. We child yeah. gonna be back. I it's gonna be. Subtler, in, it's going I down next week. I got a subtler. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey. Was, some of y'all wasn't even born when oh they got God. that trophy. Oh boy. <laughs> see, see what I started. It's look, happening look, already. Look what you started. It's having already. Let's get up out of Bruh, here. Y'all thought Southern and Jackson talk shit to each other. Y'all thought Bama <laughs> State and them niggas talk shit. Shit. Y'all haven't seen FAMU and Southern talk shit to each other. <laughs> Nigga, that's comedy. Yeah. I need some popcorn in this bitch. <laughs> oh, boy. Round one of the trash talk cars tonight. I bet it's happening right now. Well, All right, y'all. We appreciate everybody tuning in today. Thank you. If y'all y'all missed the interview with Mr. Graham, make sure y'all go back and check that out. Mm-hmm. Mr. UAPB band director, director of bands, Mr. John Graham Jr. Mm-hmm. Make sure y'all go check that out in the beginning if you missed. Great interview. Great, Great interview. Yes, sir. All right, man. Tune in next week here on 